Happy Monday, everybody. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. I hope you're all having a great Monday so far today. Uh, Vulcan, Zelda, Lovey, Kimby, Paint Chipped, Kim, Rupture, Bishop. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Happy Monday. If I missed you, good, good morning. Uh, so... <clears throat> We are going to dive into Guild Wars 2 today. It has been a very long time since I've played an MMO. Uh, so we're going to give it a run. Uh, I played Guild Wars 2 when it first came out for a little bit. Not a particularly long time. Um, I have <laughs> explained my issues with ArenaNet in the past. But uh, I figured it's been 10 years. I should probably check back in and see how it's going. So see how's it going. Uh, I am starting a brand new one. I'm using the Steam version of the client, uh, so not to deal with ArenaNet nonsense, uh, because ArenaNet accounts and Steam accounts are, are separate. So uh, I am going to be playing on the free Steam version uh, for now. Uh, so that means I don't have access to like the Revenant or any of the DLCs or anything, but uh, yeah. Did I play the first Guild Wars? I did. I played a lot of the first Guild Wars. <clears throat> um... The first Guild Wars was a very different game, but very fun. Uh, that was a really... The first Guild Wars was a very unique take on MMOs that I thought was really fun. Uh, really cool mechanics and gameplay in that one that I liked quite a bit. Um, I can't believe it's been 10 years since this game came out. Um, so <laughs> makes me... <clears throat> makes me feel rather old. Uh, yeah. That combined with the realization that it is essentially four years until my daughter gets her learner's permit. That just, that was my realization this morning. And the fact that I am under no circumstances getting into a vehicle with her. Uh, <clears throat> Soul, how's it going? Good to see you again. Uh, Hibby, good to see you as well. Uh, yikes. Anyway. Are there plans for Guild Wars 3 then? Uh, I have no idea. They just, like, they just really recently put out a new expansion pack. So, probably, eventually, I would guess, maybe in the next five years. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah. They can probably get it put out within the next five years. So, there's one more expansion coming. Chemo, how's it going? Good to see you. So there you go. <clears throat> it's still a living game. It's uh, impressive for a game to stay as active as this one is for as long as it has. So, cynical happy Monday. Uh, I hope you're both having a good, a good week so far and had a good weekend. Uh, today is Labor Day in the U.S., by the way. So today is a day to not do labor, to take a day off of work and relax. We get one day. <laughs> <clears throat> that people just ignore now. So, yeah. <clears throat> there was free story content uh, for years, and then they started doing big packs. Well, that was when they transitioned to free-to-play. Because uh, it used to be buy it once, and then you had everything for a while. Uh, and then... Yeah. So what are you doing here? Yeah, well... You know. I'm here. Bronze, how's it going? Good to see you again. I hope you're well... It's nearly 9 p.m. there. Oh, oh. You couldn't fall asleep, so you're just waking up right now and getting some tea. Let's see, what time is it? Shouldn't you, you know, be... Shouldn't, isn't it after lunch? Uh, anywho, <clears throat> uh, the week ahead, we'll be doing Guild Wars today. I am going to be off tomorrow. Tomorrow is my kids' first day at their new school. So I want to make sure that I get them settled uh, and figure out the new routine and stuff without the pressure of having to rush home and all that. So I'll be taking tomorrow off to get them settled into their new school and uh, get the first day of school out of the way. And then <clears throat> I'll be back on Wednesday, probably going to play, we'll see how today goes, but probably going to play a bit of, of uh, Guild Wars for, for a little while. Uh, there's a bunch of great games coming out, particularly towards the end of September, so we're just going to kind of 
float on for a little bit until that stuff hits stuff like slime rancher 2 the full release of grounded uh there's there's a bunch of other stuff coming out at the end of the month so we'll be swamped with the stuff at the end of the month but for now i think we'll just chill and uh get back into something else plus i've talked about it before the beginning of fall and like getting back into school <clears throat> always makes me want to play mmos i don't know what it is about that time of year specifically but it was always the time where like my investment in mmos like ramped up like summer's over and you can just like dive back into mmos so <clears throat> you just had your first kid bronze congrats congrats uh, that's incredible. I hope you all are getting some sleep, have a nice rotation down now, and are recovering, so. Uh, is PvP a mandatory feature in Guild Wars 2? Uh, no. Mandatory? No, Soul. If, unless it has changed, uh, PvP is something, it is instanced away from the main part of the game. Unless something has changed with the expansions... Uh, that I'm unfamiliar with. Um, it is all like an instanced thing that is separate from the main the main game. Uh, so you don't have to take part in it. If you played WoW, it's kind of like Battlegrounds and stuff. It's completely separate from your normal gameplay experience. <clears throat> Super easy to sleep, so it's not been a problem yet. That's awesome, Bronze. That's, that's great to hear. Uh, X, good to see you. Happy Monday. Um... Uh, yeah, so if you're not into PvP, when I when I first played Guild Wars 2, when it first came out, uh, I basically only played World vs. World. <laughs> I didn't really do a lot of the content aside from some jumping puzzles. Uh, I started as a Norn. I was a Norn Ranger, I believe. Uh, so I just did some like jumping puzzles and stuff and then just jumped into World vs. World because uh, I was coming out of a long time playing... Uh, uh, towards the end of my time with World of Warcraft, it was mostly PvP stuff, so I was still feeling that itch. So basically just jumped right into World vs. World and did that. So um, I have transitioned back the other way now. I much prefer PvE content, so I'm going to be focusing on that. We might, uh, we might jump into that soon. <clears throat> Painful return from AFK in a town and said to be dead due to PvP. Yeah, yeah. You've been playing for nine years now? Yeah. I like I pre-ordered it. I got a box. I got a physical copy. This was, you know, when you could still get games on DVD. Uh, so, yeah. I wish I could play on that account again and get my characters and play on those and see what's changed and have access to things. But ArenaNet said no. So, here we are. I'm not going to get bitter about it again. Otherwise, I won't play. <laughs> Silvari Druid, your new character is a human revenant. I wanted to try revenant, but I don't. I, I don't want to spend the money on the game <laughs> right now. So, uh, <clears throat> they recently revamped the new player and leveling experience. Ah, okay. World versus World is also getting updates. They're streamlining it, and they're going to introduce big guild alliances for it. Ooh, that sounds cool. Midnight release parties. Yeah, cynical. Uh, my brother and I waited in line at a GameStop to get it on uh, on midnight release day <laughs> to get physical copies. So if you don't know, ArenaNet is very, very, very aggressive in account lockouts and stuff. Uh, Groove, how's it going? <clears throat> so because I bought a physical copy, I hadn't played in a couple years, and I went to log in and play again. I downloaded the client. I went to log in. My username and password were correct, but they wanted to verify that I was the actual owner of the account. And to do so, the only way they would unlock the account is if I sent them the physical CD key from the box. Which was two houses and many years removed from that. That box was long gone. Uh, so there was no way for me to get my account back. They basically said, your SOL, start a new free account. Um, which, you know, that's... Anyway, uh, it's been 10 years. I'm still not upset about it. So if you ever have a problem, you may have the same issue. Just make sure you log in regularly, Bronze. 
because it wasn't I didn't even have a problem. I just didn't play for a couple of years and then tried to log back in. So that went all right. Yeah, I went through I went through so many le levels of support and they were like, no, you have to send us your key. That's the only way we'll unlock it. And I know I have talked to several other people who have had similar issues. So, Mabel Story and someone doesn't have active PvP, but apparently had a monster summoning items that are applicable in town. Oh, <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. Uh, yeah, there are dynamic events. So, yeah. That's not a problem then. You play a couple times a week. Yeah. So. <clears throat> uh, you got lucky then, Kimo. Uh, uh, both myself and um, my my brother also got locked out of his account for the same thing. So, um, all right, we're gonna dive into that again. No no stream tomorrow, but I will I will be streaming on Thursday. Uh, Thursday is my normal day off, but I'll be streaming on Thursday uh, since I'm off tomorrow. So rest of the week, we're, we're probably going to do a bit of Guild Wars. We'll bounce around, maybe do some Cult of the Lamb, maybe do some more Planet Zoo. We're going to do, we're going to relax this week. Uh, for the next couple of weeks, we're just going to kind of chill and see what happens. Jonah, how's it going? Uh, the only other thing we got going on is uh, my merch provider, uh, which is Fourth Wall, has a new feature. Uh, you can do exclamation point merch to check out my merch store. There is wife boat merch now, uh, which says I am a getting delight. Uh, <clears throat> I have some new merch that's going to be coming uh, and dropping within the next couple of weeks that I'm still putting the the final touches on. Uh, and one of the things that this merch provider offers is that you can do giveaways of merch in chat. And it doesn't have to be me that does it. So uh, you can gift merch to the community, which is really cool. So when I'm live and you go to purchase stuff, you can choose to gift it to the community. It runs the giveaway in chat, generates a link. Whoever wins has to log in with their Twitch account to verify they're the person that won it. And then they fill out their shipping information and sizing stuff and it gets sent to them and the person who did the gifting uh, pays for it. So it is a flat rate shipping thing that whoever buys for it pays the shipping. If the shipping ends up being more of that, it comes from uh, it comes from me. I take care of the rest of the shipping if uh, that's an issue. So you don't have to worry about any of that. It's really cool. Uh, so later this week, later this week, <clears throat> I'll be giving away a, uh, a mug to chat. So we'll be doing that later this week. So... Uh, Either Wednesday or Thursday, uh, whichever day I remember to do it, we'll be <laughs> we'll be doing a a mug giveaway later this week. So uh, if you're around for that, you have a chance to get uh, a mug. Um, I'll figure out which mug I'm going to give away. Probably a wifeboat one, because it's just it's too good. So <laughs> uh, there's that. Yeah. So that's a really cool thing that uh, that merch store offers. They have. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of different options. So uh, the merch selection and my ability to create kind of unique stuff is going to continue to uh, expand uh, in the coming months and years. So a lot of fun. <coughs> uh, and they've been a, an absolute treat to work with. So that's, uh, I think that's the only other thing I got. So, yeah. <clears throat> you absolutely adore the full stop. Uh, the the best thing about the the full stop, the period at the end of I'm a Delight, is it's my logo. It's just super duper tiny. And I was worried it wasn't going to print well, but it actually really did. Hang on. So one of the one of the items you can get is a koozie. So it's a uh, like a beer koozie, or seltzer, or canned goods. Seahorse, how's it going? Uh, so I got wife boat the the can koozie, and you can't really see it. It's very very small. But the period is actually my logo. But 
it, it actually printed really well. I'm super impressed. You like to put your canned green beans in there. Yeah. Uh, so the printing is really good. So uh, There's shirts. There's wife boat shirts. Uh, coffee mugs. And also the koozie. So. Yeah, it's a little Easter egg. Yeah. And these are these are stainless steel. They're nice. Wife boat took it to the beach last week. Um, okay. So, let's jump into Guild Wars 2. Like I said, I haven't. I have not played in... The game came out 10 years ago. It's probably been close to 10 years since I've played. So, basically starting from scratch, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, and, yeah. So, let's, let's play. Shall we? Shall we? Where'd the game go? There it is. All right. Start a new character. Uh, <clears throat> I think I, I mentioned my first character when I first started was a Norn uh, Ranger because I was primarily going to be playing PvP. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards playing in Asora. Uh, I do also enjoy the char. I mean, my like my like default state is to play big brutish tank characters so uh i actually think i might do an asura do a guardian or a warrior uh something like that danger borgs kids are the kids are trying to wrangle her all right uh Asura is what kind of it's a it's one of the races see so they're little uh, almost like gnomes there's the Silvari which are plant like people a Silvari tank might be fun too I don't remember if there's racial abilities all the races can be any profession yes yeah Alessandri how's it going welcome in Definitely not. You like healers and tanks like paladins and templars? Yeah, those are always fun. I always kind of lean towards like pure tanks. I kind of lean towards pure tanks or uh, barbarians is the other thing that I kind of lean towards. There's racial abilities, but they kind of suck. Right. Right, 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 right. I do, like, I come from, like, old school MMO stuff, like, with EverQuest. One of my favorite things about EverQuest was that not all races could be all classes, um, which kind of makes some unique combinations pop up. And also just innate, like, hatred between uh, different cultures and stuff, so. Barbarians fits my personality. Okay, listen. Uh, I think I'm going to play as an Asora. <clears throat> and do... Either a Guardian or a Warrior. I can't do Revenant because I don't have the thing. Uh, Guardians gain powerful personal enhancements from their virtues which they can briefly expend to aid friends or damage foes. Formidable on their own, guardians shine brightest in the company of allies. <clears throat> Jez Vicky, how's it going? Welcome in. Uh, so that is melee, supports allies, and defensive magic. Warrior, high survivability. <clears throat> if I'm going to be soloing, I think warrior is probably the better choice. Uh, warriors build their adrenaline by successfully striking an enemy, then expend it to unleash devastating burst attacks. Warriors are versatile and resilient fighters. Uh, the other thing I was considering was maybe an engineer. Jack of all trades, with enough time, masters of many, able to bring dozens of abilities and tool belt skills to the fight. Their art is choosing the right one to utilize at the perfect time. You natured too hard this weekend. Now you have too many itchy mosquito bites. Ah. 
Uh, I think I'm going to run Warrior. I think that's just going to be the most... Uh, that's that's probably going to go the best for me. I really enjoyed playing a ranger way, 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 way back when. You're too sweet, they just love me. Okay. Everyone's grumpy because the new engineer specialization is really good and they're really easy to play. Ah. Yeah, I think warrior's going to be the best choice for solo. Appearance. Tiny. Very, very tiny. Uh, physique. Chunky. Tiny. Skin markings. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, let's do that one. <clears throat> head options a headband I think maybe I think I'm going to go with bald faces let's do soft pink groove thank you so much for 23 months thank you so much for the prime sub I really appreciate that Welcome back. Julie Kitten, how's it going? Uh, happy Monday. I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, okay. Pale. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Look at those eyes. I like that one. That one's creepy. Ooh. Grumpy old man. Ooh, grumpy old man. Been playing Sea of Thieves? Nice. I think... Yeah, I think we gotta go with grumpy old man. Ears. I kinda liked the tattered, torn up ears. Tiny ears, big ears. No, we gotta go with the... The disheveled... Old... Old man ears. Massive, disheveled old man ears. Uh, Jen Cools, how's it going? Uh, North America. FLCL, good morning. Brow placement? This isn't really gonna... Like, we could do some fun stuff here, but it never really has that much impact. Tiny irises. I squint. Oh, definitely up in the eye squint. We gotta make this as as grumpy an old man as we can. <laughs> uh lower eyelid placement? Yeah. Very very squinty old man. Customize your nose. Slightly longer. He's not... Pur There's no purple option. There, There isn't a, a purple option. Hang on. Was it... Yeah, we're only like... I'm, like, I could go to porcelain, but he can't really... I'm going with... I'm leaning towards soft pink. But we can only do, like, like grays into dark browns and blacks. Verdant green. We can do greenish. I kind of... I like the soft pink, though. Light cream. Huffu. Dad mode. <laughs> Ragnar, how's it going? Uh, recently been peer pressured by friends to start playing this old MMORPG. How do I stay safe from falling into an addiction? Uh, set yourself. So the, the main thing that you want to do, Huff, is set yourself 
hard and fast boundaries, whether that's setting timers on your phone, calendar reminders, things like that, and making it clear to your friends uh, that you have hard stops. Like it's, it comes down to setting your own boundaries and then enforcing them with yourself. That's the hardest part, particularly when it comes to addictive tendencies, which I suffer from greatly. Uh, so setting yourself those hard boundaries and then following up on them and then it, ensuring to communicate with your friends that you have those hard stops, those spots during the day where you just need to like, I'm done. I gotta, I have to drop out. Um, uh, and if they make an issue about it, that's not, that's not really friend behavior. So, but talk to them. That's, that's the big thing. Uh, mouth width. Yeah. Cheek puff. No, no cheek puff. Jaw width. Jaw placement. Now look in the mirror. How dare you? How? How dare you? Well played. Uh, customize your head. Uh, big, big head. Big, big head. Big, big head. Uh, armor. All right, we can do all glory. All glory. All glory. Maybe Royal Rose for some accents. We'll do the accent pieces in Royal Rose and the rest is just glory. All right. Yes. Yes. What's your deferred default costume colors when setting it up an MMO character? Uh, the default colors, whatever the closest to the most obnoxious color is. <laughs> that way, no matter what the first piece of gear you get is, you, you feel better about it. <clears throat> uh, no helm, a gala. The Spangenhelm imitates my enemies and inspires respect among my allies. I'm nearly invulnerable when I wear it. The Gala. My helm is open-faced so that my enemies can see my face and look me in the eyes. They will remember who defeated them. Uh, that's a great looking hat. <laughs> Uh, the true warrior doesn't need a helm. My enemies will cringe and falter when they see the fearless determination on my face. Obviously, we're going with that. Ferocity. Trouble may follow me, but I use my... I am ferocious. Threatening violence gets me further than anything else. I'm a natural... Though I do not use, though I try not to use my powers of intimidation for good. Uh, dignity? I am dignified. Even when up to my ears in mud. It's what makes people respect me. A serious, thoughtful demeanor is the route to success. Or charm. I am charming. Uh, I think we're going with ferocity. This old man has seen some things and he found them wanting. I am a member of the College of Statistics, or Statics, sorry, I can read words good. Uh, builders and architects make up the College of Statics and we build to last. Some call us conservative, but we excel at creating new designs, using old materials in innovative ways and expanding the purview of known magics for practical application. <clears throat> Thank you, Seahorse. Dynamics. The College of Dynamics produces gizmo makers extraordinaire. Energy, enthusiasm, and boldness are our best qualities. We believe in leveraging the expendable nature of all things. If a prototype explodes, it isn't a failure unless the lesson goes unlearned. And synergetics. As a member of the College of Synergetics, we study how energy patterns form and alchem alchemagical fragments 
fractals propagate. I can, I should have had more coffee before this. Few beyond our college understand the philosophical and mystical complexities of our interests. We devoutly research the true nature of the eternal alchemy. Uh, sure. Let's go for synergistics. Why not? Infin oh, my first invention. The Val A. Golem. Most golems are powerhouses of design for warfare. They show absolutely no subtlety or originality of design. My golem was compact and efficient. It had an unparalleled package of features. It revolutionized lab cleanup and mixed a great cocktail, too. Uh, trans atmospheric converter. What unmitigated joy to be able to change the weather at my whim. If only the prototype had been more powerful. Nevertheless, the design was cutting edge. My trans atmospheric converter was a masterpiece of utter genius. I wish I had more funding. And an infinity ball. They said it was a toy, a pipe dream, a waste of resources. They were wrong. My invention predicts the future. So what if it doesn't predict it correctly every time? It's irrelevant. Could it give me an advantage? Repie Hazy. Ask again. We're definitely going with that. That fits the bitterness of the face. Uh, my first advisor, the one who taught me almost everything I know, was Blip. Master Blip was known for his redundancy as well as his redundancies. He often said, your first try should never be your last, especially if it succeeded. You can always succeed bigger next time. Uh, Canny was, wasn't just another bureaucrat. She was an esopolitical parascientologist. She was fond of saying, always bring a witness, preferably an expendable one. You never know when you'll need a scapegoat. And that kind of fits. Zynga taught me the best form of magic is good old-fashioned luck. No, that doesn't fit her character. Bronk. Bronk looks like he might fit. Good old Master Bronk taught me the benefits of superior pyre, firepower. He liked to say when it comes to besting the enemy, there's no such thing as overkill. Yes. <clears throat> character name. I don't know if that's going to work. It's already in use. Imagine. Imagine that. All right. I am Asura. I personify genius. Obviously. My ancestors were driven from the heart of the earth, forced to live in this bright, wide world. Of course, we've excelled. We exceed expectations in everything. Someone we do. stole my name at some point in the last ten years. With Gollum and Imagine that. and Arcane Crystal. We have asserted our supremacy in this land and made it our own. Mm -hmm. We will not move another inch. Not for dragons, not for anyone. Dun, dun, By studying dun. the eternal alchemy, we can see that all things are connected. I am a scholar of interconnectivity and relationships. I belong to the College of <laughs> Synergetics. Cracky looks. <laughs> oh, I love it. <clears throat> Synergetics He's so mad. delve into the nature of fundamental coherence that many overlook and few exploit. <laughs> I have to find I have to find the character named Tug and challenge him to a duel to the death. My success positively impacts my crew, who then gratefully assist me, and I succeed even more brilliantly. <laughs> yeah, cranky. Reciprocity. <laughs> oh my god. Such a I've bitter old man. That defective golems, not mine of course, are causing havoc out in the jungle. Whatever the imbeciles outside the city have broken, I'll fix, and make my name doing so. In time, dun, dun. I will map the fabric of connectivity that weaves us all together. This <clears throat> is my story. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> uh, just tugboat, see. Okay. 
getting around. You there. Get over here and fix this. What are you are you talking to me? Yeah, camera control. Thanks. Hi there. Catastrophic glitch in the Golem control system. In brief, they've all gone completely loopy. Find Peacemaker Gezi. She'll get to the bottom of this. Some of them are okay. A few are, but Gezi's one of the good this ones. Let's see what I can do. Sloppy craftsmanship. Hmm. Yes. Sloppy craftsmanship. Indeed. Uh. Okay. What do I have? I have. Oh. Okay. It's a sequence. All right. And mending. Remove conditions and heal yourself. Okay. Okay. Leave that be. What's Hello. That? Ooh, cutscene. It's pure chaos out here. Unacceptable. What's going on? Just what it looks like. These golems have gone mad. Zoja suspects someone tampered with them, and by <laughs> someone she means the inquest. Zoja's rarely wrong. Don't tell her I said rarely. By the way. I don't think it it's inquest, possible to, to squint help. anymore. Where can I find her? <laughs> At the malfunctioning it's, gate that's spitting out these deranged golems. She it seems like he absolutely should be wearing glasses, but decided under no circumstances will he wear glasses. Shut down the problem at its he doesn't source. need them. Thanks for the information. I don't need glasses. Just come a little closer. Kraken, how's it going? Can I fight this dude? Oh, I can. Oh, got it. Ooh. Okay. Got XP. I have to get to the portal. Yoink, and away. Where's the... The portal is down at the end of this path. Okay. Might as well. A lightning bug. Boy, I am yoking those things. Kind of seems weird. Also, it looks like my bleed is procking on them, which is also weird. But hey, metal can bleed, right? Right? I'm only getting 18 XP for each of that. I need 2,000 experience for level 2. That seems like a lot. I'm assuming that's the portal. They bleed oil. Oh, that's fair. Get in that portal. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Destroy the inquest golems. Group event. Oh, 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 oh. This thing? Oh! Yes, that thing. Oh! Can I get behind it? Who was tanking it, but it wasn't me. Sad golem noises. Hey, it's you again. I see you survived with your epidermis intact. Oh, <laughs> look at me, of fancy course. words. It takes more than a giant rampaging inquest golem to get the better of me. <laughs> <laughs> Modest, too. Well, you've earned a dash of praise, if you ask me. A cruise around the city would kill I love his for the voice. assistance it's, of an inventor of your talents. You should ask around. Make yourself invaluable. Not a bad idea. Thanks. Thanks. 
Character Adventure Guide. The Character Adventure Guide displays additional objectives for your character while leveling. Complete these to earn extra experience. Explosive Intellect completed. I got a Short Sword, which is an upgrade. That and enough experience to level. Looks like. Level 2 Rewards. The Hero Panel. Stat increases. And Weapon Skill 2 unlocked. Just received a weapon. Your hero panel displays items from your... Whoa. Hi. What's up, fella? Uh, open it by pressing the H key. Okay. Upcoming level rewards. New profession skill unlocked at level 5. Fine equipment at 6. Personal story unlocked at 10. Hero points at 11. Okay. Oh, that's you, Jen? Jeez. That's <laughs> nice gear. Uh, okay. Scouting the area. Adventure Guide Volume 1. Scouting the area. Speak with three scouts in Queensdale, Metrica Province, Caledon Forest, Wayfarer Foothills, or the Plains of Ashford to discover more about the local area. They appear with the spy class icon on your map. They point you towards nearby goals and landmarks. Okay. Uh, let's look at the hero panel. Equipment. I can't open any of that. Build. Story journal, achievements, masteries, weapon skills. Where... Oh. Oh, that's a PvP finisher. Wait, where do I change my weapon? Oh, here we go. Short sword. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, there's cosmetics, soul, and also the uh the DLCs in the expansion packs. So I can't access certain areas. Uh, one of the classes is locked off. You can't get mounts, things like that. Uh, okay. So there's a scout right here. So then I need to look around. There's a vista there, a mastery point up there. Okay, there's another scout. All right, so let's talk to this scout right here. Do you require my assistance? Welcome to Metrica Province. You'll find private laboratories all over okay, where our that crews work revealed. on dangerous research, and we There's pay the a price quest? for excellence. Another Labs quest. Need to be carefully maintained, but I'm sure that's not news to you. Yeah, when the game when it initially came out, Soul, ten years ago, it was you paid for the game, and then there were no ongoing fees. Uh, everything that came out after that was free. With your and they transitioned journey, to a free-to-play model where you would buy the DLCs. The Don't let these opportunities pass by you. Jump in and help. As you get about, you'll encounter our Magi Matter transport. Waypoints can be used to travel quickly for a small commonly fee. Known okay. as waypoints. Loris, how's it going? Thank you. That for a trivial fee, transport you across <laughs> it's been great distances. 84 the years. Most convenient way to travel next to our gates. Uh, okay. Let's go see that scout over here, because that's one of our one of our adventure guide quests for scouting the area. Complete renown hearts and applying conditions. The scout this way. Oh, uh, I don't know. Can I get through this cave? No, this is a dead end. Okay, but I got XP for exploring. So let's go. Yeah, same soul. I mean, like, one of the reasons I'm trying it is because it's... One of the reasons I'm going back to it is because it's free. Uh, and you can get a pretty good idea of how the game is by playing the free version. So, Also, there's jumping puzzles. I remember these being some of my favorite things. 
trying to get up to the different vistas and jumping puzzles is really fun. Okay. Cosmetics quality of life stuff expansions and additional story content sales. The DLCs you need to buy outright. The Living World Story Packs are bought with in-game currency that you can either buy with IRL money or in-game gold. Okay. okay. I can't go through that. So let's go. Let's head back down. And finish the scouting quest. I think it should be this way. Experiment on inactive golems, repair golem control panels, subdue haywire golems, and organize toolboxes along the road and inside nearby labs. That's the... That's this heart event? Okay. I want to get to this scout, and then we'll come back to that. Let's kill the boar. Uh, I'm playing as a warrior, auto king. I want to do something uh, kind of tanky that I could also solo with. So, warrior it was. AWZ rules, how's it going? Up until the Heart of Thorns expansion, that particular DLC, at least for you, was extremely difficult to do quests solo. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I wonder if that's changed since. Uh, hello. What's in hey, here? You. Yeah, you. You haven't trained enough to face the dangers down Heart of Thorns road. is still a notorious difficulty spike, but not nearly as bad as it was at launch. Okay. No, my cousin going. The expansions don't raise the level cap or release better weapons, just more convenient and prettier skins. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I actually took damage from that one. Uh, what is this ability? Savage Leap. Lunge at your foe and strike them with your sword. Okay. It's crippled, so it's a snare. And it's a combo finisher for Leap. So this goes... Sever Artery. So it's a bleed, a gash, which is a bleed, and then Hamstring, which is a snare. Up to three targets. Okay. This thing's level six. Uh, that hurts. Okay. Mending only has a 14 second cooldown. So that's decent. Here's the scout. The marsh north of Soren Dry is remarkably tumultuous. Senior researcher Shu okay, and those are level six. crew clash with the inquest as they race to unearth an artifact. Oh, there's the another scout. Is that the site. third one? Across the river from the old Gollum foundry, the Brill Alliance crew. The little dude by the entrance did warn you. Who makes said you weren't strong enough for this area. Oh, that's fair. I didn't listen. These Played a guardian and had three legendaries games. before you stopped playing. Yeah, Julie, when I when I first. Uh, <clears throat> when I first started, back when it first came out 10 years ago, I played as a hunter. And I enjoyed that quite a bit. It was pretty good. That was a pretty good solo experience. I want to see how, how Warrior does. Okay. These are actually really good experience, and they're not... One at a time is not particularly threatening. Oh! That ability has a really long reach. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the jumping puzzles. I'm really excited to find uh, my first jumping puzzle. That was that was one of my favorite things about the game back then. Necro and a Mesmer both were super fun. You know what? In all the times that I've played MMOs, I have never in an MMO played as a full caster. <laughs> Uh, no, that's not true, actually. 
I didn't think they were a full caster. And then it ended up being a full caster class. Because my main in EverQuest was a shaman. But it was always... Shaman was always billed as a melee hybrid. But then as the game developed, uh, they just became a full, a full caster. They were just buff bots. Buff and slow bots. <clears throat> Everything you do on the map gives you XP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have a compulsion. I seize it. It kills it. What is this? Okay, we're... Complete Renown Hearts. I need to defeat enemies. I'm at 36%. I need to defeat 25 enemies for part of my adventure gun. Uh, okay. Let's head for this Renown Heart then. Which is Experiment on Inactive Golems. Resurrect. This map has one of the harder jumping puzzles in the game. Oh. That's cool. I revived an ally. Ooh, level up. Nice. Oh, access to my inventory now. Nice. And a leather bag. Uh, upcoming rewards. Fine equipment, personal story. Okay. I don't know what any of that is. I have two tiny fangs. Enhanced mighty boots. Contains boots that are more powerful than the standard level five boots. Oh. Uh, these require level 5. I can wear heavy armor, though, right? Yeah. An enhanced version of the state of due to ban armor. 21 defense. Okay. I can't wear them yet. And then mighty leggings. Then we have a torch. And a bag. Okay. So the bag gives me more holding spots. Let's open these and we'll go for... I think we'll just do heavy armor. The whole time. Do -do. Bracers. Those are also 21. Okay. Can't reach your hands in. Oh, you've leveled up? Alright, I guess you can reach them. Yeah. I think it's too... I think that's part of, like, the progression to not overwhelm new players, which is totally fine. What is this? All right, I have to resurrect more. Do that. Cyborgical, good morning. Okay. Whoa. Nope, didn't want to do that. Uh, what does activate do? Please diagnose the failure symptoms present in this unit. Gyroflex module is misconfigured. Deviation limit should be sent to 0 0.025, not 0.25. Frayed wires. Liquid coolant is leaking. Someone flip to the control panel upside down. Oh! Oh! No, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad. Okay. Let's organize the toolbox. What a great animation. Matacola, how's it going? Welcome in. Uh, Griggy, how's it going? Thank you so much. Uh, okay. We have... Experiment on inactive, repair golem control panels, subdue haywire golems, organize toolboxes along the road and inside nearby labs. There's a haywire golem up there. Jube, how's it going? Allow me to fix. Oh, I hit both. That's fine. Four. Okay. Uh, there's more control panels and stuff in here. Oh, here's the guy we're completing for. Let's try this control panel. Activate. Uh, liquid coolant. Stop. 
Stop hitting me. <laughs> Do all the options make them hit me? <laughs> Mario, how's it going? Uh, so I, I did play Guild Wars 2 for a couple weeks when it first came out, like 10 years ago. Uh, before that, I played EverQuest for a very long time. I also played Warcraft for uh, a decent amount of time. <clears throat> I quit World of Warcraft when Burning Crusade came out, and I haven't really engaged long-term with an MMO since then. Uh, but EverQuest I played for five years at a very, very, very high level. <laughs> Hi, no. Do any of those work? Oh, we got a heart completion. Noise. What did he? Karma. I got 90 karma and 45 coins. Merchant unlocked. So we can shop with Dula now? Subnautica's quarantine enforcement platform. Yes, soul. Yes. They do, this stuff all does look like Subnautica. Yeah, 100%. We all have a place in the eternal alchemy. Even uh, Mario, I was burned out on MMOs. Uh, my, like, from, like, doing high-end rating in EverQuest for, for five years to then immediately going with most of that guild into Warcraft from beta and then grinding out and doing high-end rating in vanilla Warcraft. And then when PvP launched, uh, we had the first three Grand Marshals in PvP on the server, and it was just so much grinding and so much time that I completely burned out, and I, I walked away for a while. Heart vendors are the way you level up gear? What is this? Ooh, condition damage. That counts for bleed, right? How many do I have? I have 90. A tiny sharpening stone. Click to consume. 15 minutes. Gain the power equal to 1% of your precision. 10% experience from kills. Tasty cake. Uh, the accessory seems seems good, right? Target located. Stand by for Let's buy that. We can come back for tiny sharpening stones, though. Because in increasing experience will be good. Zara, how's it going? Uh, yeah, Groove, when when my guild would walk into the battlegrounds, the horde would just leave. <laughs> basically what would happen. It got a little frustrating, actually. Uh, okay. Still need to scout the area, defeat enemies, loot enemies. So where's the last... There should be another thingy. Unless it's this one way over here? That scout? Uh, we can check out. There's a vista right in front of me. Up there. Let's figure out how to get up there. A jungle grub. Yeah, so coming from doing, like, competing for world firsts in uh, EverQuest for years to grinding out, all that stuff just completely burned me out. Plus, I had to start <laughs> having a life and having kids and stuff, which puts a damper on it. You know, kind of slows you down a little. Uh, how do we get up there? I need to get up there. Can we climb up the side of this? Six days a week, farmed one day to supply for six days. Yeah, so... <clears throat> raiding in EverQuest was a bit different than raiding in Warcraft. Um, <laughs> uh, it's... Time-consuming. But in a in a different manner. <laughs> yes. 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 Got it. Okay. 
This was one of my favorite parts of the game. The vistas and the jumping puzzles, just really, just a fantastic way to just show off your game. It's so cool and so pretty. There was one of the most memorable encounters, one of the most memorable raids that we had in EverQuest, which was right near the end of when I stopped playing. Um, we spent around 30 hours just learning the encounter because no one had done it before. <laughs> oh, I got a new ability. Final Thrust. Does extra damage and inflicts bleeding against foes below the health threshold. Health threshold is 50%. Okay. I didn't even get a chance to use it. All right. Final Fantasy 11 will always be your favorite. One of the most time-consuming games of all time before they changed a bunch of it. Do you agree? Love the huge jumping puzzle in the PvP area. Epic battles. Rockford, how's it going? Final Thrust, why does that make me giggle? Because you're a child. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! No, no! No, no! Uh, oh, this is a heart event. Okay, that's fine. I'm getting distracted. Golomancy! Whoop. Okay, I need to loot one more enemy. We can keep doing these uh, teaching apparatus. Apparati? Apparatuses? Apparato. Oh. Okay, final thrust turns out to be pretty strong. Battle shoes, how's it going? Discovered a year ago, you've been having a blast. Nice. Spent a lot of life on Final Fantasy XI. Uh, I've talked about it before. My, my time played on my characters on Warcraft... Uh, on EverQuest. Um, oh! There's a event. Uh, so I I two-boxed in EverQuest, so I had two accounts and two main characters uh, that I played simultaneously. <laughs> uh, and my... If you did, like, slash played on my main character, uh, it was over three years of active playtime, and that was just one of my characters. So conservatively speaking, 35,000 hours played in EverQuest. Roughly. Just a couple. One, one or two hours. One or two. So when I say I was burned out, <laughs> you're a child too, apparently. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to say it out loud. I could have quit anytime I wanted. Listen, I collected junk items. Okay. I'm almost done with this heart. You made a bard in EverQuest? Okay. Rockford, listen, listen. Best iteration of a bard class ever. And no one, no one has tried to make a bard like that ever again. It's, it was so, it, you want to talk about a class that required so much patience, time, and skill, but made such a dynamic difference to everyone around them. The bards in EverQuest were out outrageous. If you found a good bard, you clung to them with your life. <laughs> you dug your nails in and didn't let them leave. <clears throat> so a bard run by with Celos on? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if if you don't know, if you never saw how bards work in EverQuest, they had, they had to play songs, but each song had a duration and they had to kind of create a rhythm and weave songs together and all the songs had to keep going and they had to keep weaving them and you had to pay attention and you had to keep weaving your songs for hours and hours and hours on end. 
in uh, in Wrath Mountains, Rockford. Because uh, I spent so much time. Uh, I mained a shaman, and I would solo in Wrath. Uh, there was an NPC. There was a gypsy NPC named Cynthia that I soloed for uh, 45, which was a hell level. And then I transitioned to kiting uh, giants. You could make you could make so much platinum, uh, kiting giants in Wrath. Are you kidding me? Pit a fully integrated anyway. golem against any Etten, and the Etten is the twenty-four hour spawn camp for your boots. I had to, I had to uh, hop in with so many different uh, guilds because uh, my guild was already beyond fear and hate. The planes of fear and hate. By the time uh, I was ready to do my epic, because I kind of like skimmed over it, because the shaman epic was kind of garbage, so I never really did it. And then I wanted it, so then I had to tag on with a smaller guild to run uh, those planes so that I could get it. And it was such a pain; like it physically hurt me seeing the way they ran those <laughs> those <laughs> events. J-Boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Rockford, uh, my brother who played with me had a pre-nerf circlet of shadows. Which, honestly, at this point, he... Like, he probably could have sold for a car payment. <laughs> you never finished your epic? Oh, no. You wiped on track? I had... <laughs> I also had a uh, max level cleric with the cleric epic, and that was heinous. The rogue epic was probably the easiest one that I did. Most of the time I ran shaman rogue, but I also had a max level cleric with the epic to have for guild wipes. Because um, the cleric epic gave you a resurrection. In, in EverQuest, when you die, you lose a ton of experience. And if you got a res from a high level cleric, you got 97% of your experience back. But only through a high level cleric, and the cleric epic gave you an, a free, no component cost, 95% res. <clears throat> so having a res bot, basically, so I would run my cleric to the zone line and camp him out there and then run my rogue and shaman. And then uh, if we wiped, log in for the corpse run and the reses. So <laughs> Only MMO character you ever sold is when you quit EQ. EQ. Same. Uh, same. Mine were really good, and I got a decent amount of money for them. <laughs> and apparently the person that bought them completely ruined, uh, completely, completely ruined my name. <laughs> Which was, whatever. Trying to make it purple? No, it's purple for me, Kim. Purple for me. Anyway, old... Old MMO memories. Okay, we completed that heart. Where's the other scout? What is that? Your road to greatness starts by joining the inquest. Do you agree? Do you think dying experience loss should include a D level? Uh EverQuest had a D if you if you died, you could D level on EverQuest, yeah. Hundred percent. Mikey DK Where's the chat? There it is. Uh, Berserker, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Mikey, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much for six months in advance. That means a lot. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, Zara, in EverQuest's, like, two consecutive deaths, you, you could D-level pretty quickly. It was pretty punishing. Uh, there was... There were people that they made their, like, living in the game just doing corpse runs for people. Because uh, you could give ooh, another event. Uh, you could give people permission to drag your corpse. So then uh, people like high-level rogues that had high-level uh, stealth and sneak, sneak and hide, would be able to go in and recover your corpse and drag it to somewhere that you could get a res. So then you'd have to pay the rogue to recover the corpse and then pay the cleric 
to resurrect your corpse. Um, and there was pretty decent money in doing that. Happy Monday. I hope you had a good weekend, Mikey. Oh. Final thrust. Some places you didn't want to die. If you died in fear, some folks lost their gear, unless you could play a monk or rogue to drag their corpses back. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Uh, or Shadow Knight. If they were a good Shadow Knight, you could use them to get it back. Um, or, <laughs> or Rockford. <laughs> uh... Dying in uh, Kithikor Forest at night. <laughs> You're just... <laughs> You're just never getting that back. <laughs> Elaneo, how's it going? Not die to begin with, right? That would be probably the best plan. The inquest morale is only 46%. Do I have to do something? We just have to defend these? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Necro Corp Summon, too. Uh, that, too. Yeah, you could de-level to the point that you couldn't get back into a zone. <laughs> Ooh. Final Thrust is good. Nikki, how's it going? Do I have to do something with these? Yeah. Drive off the inquest. Yeah. Uh, isn't that what we're doing? I see inquest people. Oh, the inquest morale is going down. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I was looking at it backwards. We are advancing. So if the bar was filling up, then we'd be losing. Got it. Got it. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Okay, don't attack the sparks. Wait, is that not actually doing any damage? <laughs> the sound effect is cool, but kind of scary at the same time, right? Man, the range on that leap is huge. Leveled up. Uh, seven primary attributes. Ooh, profession skill. Offhand weapon. Ooh, that's at level six. Okay. This is almost done, right? Yeah, they're at nine percent. Boom. Let's go. One of the funniest moments you read about in Final Fantasy XI, a guild got control of a friend's account, ran him out into a high-level outpost before the conquest tally on Sundays, set his home point to the outpost. Tally happened and the outpost was then held by the beastmen, so no outpost NPCs to warp back to town, during which they went back to town, changed the guy to a level one job, and died, respawning at the outpost. So when the guy logged in, he had no way of getting back to town without help. Ooh. <laughs> that seems kind of me. <laughs> okay. Uh, there is a waypoint over here. Let's grab that. Yeah. yeah. Unlocked. There's 16 waypoints in this place? Okay. Okay. Uh, we're almost... I'm almost done with that heart. So let's head back to that. I need to remove sparks. Ow. 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 Oh, I put the spark in the thing. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. 
That animation tells you what you're doing. Right. Storm cloud generator. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did I do? Did I do something? <laughs> I did something. I don't know what. Uh, I have it. I had it turned down because it was uh, rather loud on the main menu. I can turn it back up a bit. So you can also increase the frequency with when it goes off. What is this? Oh, level six rewards. Select your reward: a shield or a great ooh. Ooh, so I don't know what I want to do yet. Wait, can I save for later? Okay. Okay, I completed that heart. Uh, use emotes. I can equip that level five gear. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me go over by the waypoint real quick. Okay, let's... So that's completing that. Uh, let's do... Equip those. Equip those. Equip those. Do I want to do... <clears throat> the question is, do I want to do a... Um... Do I want to do sword and board, or do I want to do a two-hander? That is the question. Okay, that's equipped. Helm. What am I missing? I need shoulders. Those are leggings. I don't need leggings. Wookie here, how's it going? Sword and shield with a rifle? Two-handed all the way from Groove. <clears throat> big sword easy. Big sword big better. Uh get the music to play more. A dragonfly. What is this? Flurry. Oh, is that building up a skill? Okay. All right, hang on. Try everything and see what you like. Yeah, that's totally fair. That's very fair. I don't know if I can... Um, slot skills. Do I need to go talk to somebody? Learn how to dodge. What? <laughs> that's rude. You learn how to dodge. <laughs> Is that telling me where I can go to learn how to dodge? Katie Bot, how's it going? Oh, that's what that is. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'm going to grab the shield. It unlocks the offhand weapon slot. Yeah, it's fine. Upcoming level rewards. Raptor mount at 10. Weapon swapping. Oh, so I can have... Okay, got it. Got it. Okay, so I unlocked a shield ability. Shield bash. Bash your foe with a shield and stun them. Okay, let's try that out. So we'll leap and then stun. Seems good. Oops, I keep hitting G. Determined to have a good day? And think the hard brain thoughts. That's a good determination to have. I hope you have a great day, King Bob. Uh, let's go over to this thing. Learn how to dodge. Wait, what is... Oh! 
underwater points of interest. Okay, sure. Okay, learn how to dodge. Dodge to avoid danger by pressing the V key or double tapping a movement key. While dodging, you're temporarily invulnerable. The yellow endurance bar above your health drains with each dodge, but will recover over time. Okay. Boom. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. What did I get? Gave me nothing? My new invention will revolutionize the industry. Try a dodge maneuver. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Do you require my assistance? Help me find out what's inside. I already opened the box. Oh man, did I break it? Excelsior. I might have broken the encounter. <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving. Man, the animation on that shield bash is incredible. Ooh, what is that? That's pretty. Blue observation turret. I did get something. I got goo. I got mighty warrior chain greaves. I should probably sell stuff. Uh, I also ooh. Crafting. Double click to apply to an item with an unused upgrade. Oh. Okay. My floppy ears are silly. Okay, how dare you? Number one. Uh, obtain a colored key card from Taka, then chromatize flowers with observation turrets. Where is Taka? Where are you? Up here. There's a button to... Oh, there is. Deposit all materials. Oh, crafting materials automatically go to the bank. Cool. Thank you. Uh, you? No. You. Hello. Senior. Ah, oh, okay. Always be loyal to your crew. A purple leather bag has five slots. Sure. Bump. Why are we in gameplay already? I made a cranky old man. Listen. You mind your business. Take care, soul. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, let's sell that. Sell that. Do I? I don't, I'm gonna sell those. Sell those. Uh. Excelsior. Soft wood torch. Torch requires the elite specialization berserker. Okay. Cog broken clock. Okay. I'll be on my way. The boots I have equipped and everything you get from these starter equipment boxes are stat selectable. If you double click on the items, you can choose the stat. Where? Wardrobe. Greetings. Double click to select stats. Shut up. Okay. Uh, that's cool. That, that's, <laughs> that's cool. Let's do, what's, ferocity. Toughness and vitality are straightforward. Power, what is ferocity? Is ferocity crit chance? Don't, how's it going? <clears throat> It's crit damage? Okay. So what's crit? Precision is crit chance. Ferocity is crit damage. Got it. Thank you. So let's do... Power and vitality. That one doesn't work. That one does. 
We'll do power and vitality in all of them. We'll go for damage and survivability for now. Okay. Uh, build? Inquiring the story journal. Equipment. Can I see my stats anywhere? My story journey. Oh. Mm. That's a lot of story. Oh, okay. Over here. Got it. Got it. So we're at 202 armor. Yeah, so vitality upped. Okay, so we got attack power and health. That's what I was going for. All right. Don't forget to recalibrate the hyperstatic arc aligner. We okay. wouldn't want. Cool. Well, Don't get out. Oh, I gotta talk to you. My ears. How are? Hello. What can I do to help? Uh, I'm off to gun down some flowers. I'll take a blue, green card. I don't know what that means. Does that mean I can only use the green ones? Oh! An ooze projection. Ooh! How's it invulnerable? Oh. That's out. Oh, it's back. It's invulnerable again. This is mayhem. Absolute mayhem. Stop going invulnerable, you jerk. Got it. Okay. I love the uh, the experience animation. is really fun. Okay. What did I get? I got a green one. Let's do the green one. Requires green. Didn't I get the green card? Wait, what? Didn't I take the green card? How do I do that? What do I do after that? I'll take a green card. Excelsior. Oh, the card has a duration. Well, that explains that. So I gotta move quick, is what you're telling me. Uh, Spoon, welcome in, by the way. Michael, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Isn't it funny that the only people who don't get off for Labor Day are the people who do labor? Anybody notice that? Anybody? 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 No? 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 Weird, right? The keys only last like two minutes. It only lasted like... That was like a minute. Uh, I'm almost done with the heart, so let's grab another key. What can I do to help? I'm off to kill some flowers. Let's get a blue card this time. Interesting. Nope. Enhanced Mighty Chest Piece. Ooh. Running out of time. Had to take a break. <laughs> what is Labor Day? It's an American holiday meant to celebrate the labor force in America. So if you have 
it's supposed to be a day off of work for people who have labor intensive jobs but the only people who get off are bankers and corporate people because the people who do labor jobs can't take a day off <laughs> had to choose to work today take your labor day holiday on the day when the banks and the government offices are open so you could do all the auditing things all the adulting things rather ideas are like cream good ones rise to the top what do you sell them a rifle Ooh. Uh, plus the healing power. Uh, a sharpening stone. Jar of ooze. Three vitality. Uh, should I get a rifle? Always be loyal to your crew. <clears throat> Why not, right? Why not? And I leveled up. What's this? Level 7 rewards. Primary attributes. Downed skill? You've unlocked your second downed ability. While downed, press 2 or click the second icon to throw a hammer that knocks down enemies. Oh. Vistas unlocked. Didn't I already do vistas? Vistas are now shown on your map. Oh, by default? Without having to find a thing? Okay. Uh, upcoming levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pleasure working with you. Okay. So quiet because the rain was so heavy, which is saying something for Scott. That's fair. <laughs> uh, so do I have a... I don't have a second equipment tab yet, right? Uh... Next level? Okay. Uh, you know what? While I'm over here in a semi-safe spot, real quick, uh, I'm going to take a quick two-minute break. It's been an hour and a half. I need to refill my coffee, and I need to stretch my legs and check on my kids. So, uh, real quick, two-minute break. Now's a great time to grab a drink, grab a snack, get up and move around if you can. Look away from the screens for a minute. I'll be right back. Interesting. <laughs> A pool table. <laughs> Don't listen to them, wife boat. I'm Get not. that need for speed. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That gets like. <laughs> How does that bother you? <laughs> Let's go more for tug them for white bone tug banana tug banana tug banana tug banana tug banana tug banana. What did I do? Ooh, missed it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. A whole planet of water. And I hit the one rock on the whole freaking planet. <laughs> I can't. My suit's gone. Oh no. I don't have my suit. <laughs> Evil Vermin, how you doing? Welcome in. Look at, is that stained glass? Oh, that's stunning. Okay. Focus. Bridges. A ferry? Why? <laughs> Why is there a ferry? Okay. I'm getting distracted. LED signs for pizza? Alright. What am I doing? What was I, what was I doing? Does anyone know what I was what I was planning on doing? Oh, rope. Rope. Right. I'm good. I'm back. I'm back. Hungry. 
hungry. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I have found... Okay. I'm back. My kids are still alive. Imagine. Um, Alright. We still need to scout the area. Hey, is it true that Fox... House on Forest Ranger in the Plains of Ashford. Okay. Use healing skills. Don't forget to recalibrate Use the emotes. Arc aligner. We wouldn't want... Well, you know. Absolutely. Emote list. Face palm. Using an emote gave me 669 experience. Let's nice. get this underway. Ready your weapon. Zero time. Oh. Oh. We're doing this again. Resurrect, 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 resurrect. Not gonna resurrect in time. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm the only player here. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Okay. <laughs> the guy I just resurrected just went down again. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, this could be bad. This could be bad. Haha, uh -huh, interrupt. Zero it's back. Yes. My genius, my never a Did I get success. a lot more experience for doing it solo? It doesn't look like it. All right. Uh... Is there anything else that I don't think there was anything else that way. Uh, there's another heart event over here. There's a point of interest that I missed over here. As well as over here. There's a vista back over here. There's also a mastery point up here. I'm guessing that's a jumping puzzle. <clears throat> there's another heart down here. Point of interest. There's a waypoint. And then there's a scout all the way over here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff over here. Oh, there's crafting station? Wait. What's over there? Okay. You can get four levels of reward depending on how much you did in the event. Ah. Masteries are level 80 content. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chase, how's it going? Welcome in. Uh, thank you. You can hover over the icons on the map legend to light up the missing spots. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ashtray. I appreciate it. Welcome in. <clears throat> it's designed for people to collaborate. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's a jaguar. I missed. Hi. Boom! I thrust. What is this? This is open. I can flurry now. Oh, no. I have to build up my... Okay, there's a little bar here. Adrenaline 10 out of 10, and then I can use this. Immobilize your flow... Your, your flows with a flurry. Uh, foes with a flurry of bleeding strikes. Increases with adrenaline level. Damage 9 times 99. Bleeding of 4 for 121. Three levels of immobilize. Oh, okay. <clears throat> About to continue on LW4. I will pretend to know what that is and say good luck.
action cam would interest you? Uh, maybe? Is that in options? Actually, there's a lot of options. Good lord. Uh, but it Camera. Keybinds, camera. Keybinds, camera. Toggle action camera. Uh, Insert. So then we do that. Oh, so it locks it to the mouse. Okay. So then I just, I don't have to hold down right click the entire time. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, use waypoints, use healing skills. Let me take some damage. Did I miss? Feels a little weird. I collected junk items. I guess it helps if I actually attack it, right? Ah! Oh god, I thought that was an enemy. <laughs> uh, bring Blop, Lush, Kelp, Defeat, Inquest, Neutralize, Poisonous, Ampules and defeat crazed Hylek. There's a crazed Hylek. Oh, level five. Hello. Let's dance. And by dance, I mean do a murder. That was the wrong button. It's fine. Uh, so I just need to clear this camp, basically, and I'll complete it. Hi. 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 <laughs> you got interrupted. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi. Oh, you guys are friendly. Hello. Hero challenge. I don't, I don't know that I want to do that. Oh, wait, you're not friendly. You're now crazed. Frog locks. Exterminate. Exterminate what? You? Get him. Do hero challenges always? Okay. Let me clear these guys, and then we'll do that. They give points you need to unlock skills. Ooh, okay. Okay. Hello. Our skills have been passed down from generation to generation. Tell me, outsider, would you care to test your might against me? No time for that. What? Do I have to complete the heart first? Or do I just attack them? I haven't unlocked them yet. Uh, okay. Hello. You think you're so sneaky. You need to be level 11. Okay. I am currently 7. I am ruining these guys. You never knew hero points were level locked? <laughs> the funny things you figure out when you go back and and play through a game for the first time again. You forget how things are set up. It's kind of funny. Exterminate. 
If you have one character of level 11, you get them for all levels. Oh, there you go. You don't want to go back to work. You're hiding in your car. It's quiet and safe. Don't go back to work, Mikey. Don't do it. Just, just run away. Run while you can. Run while you can, buddy. Boom! Level up. Oh, you're now crazed. Hi. You're not lasting long enough for me to use my ability. You can see the road. Go. Run like the wind. Ooh, a spear. Spears are two-handed. An aqua breather? That seems like it might be important. That allows me to breathe underwater, I'm assuming? Underwater combat unlocked. Oh, I get both. Never mind. Dope. I don't get weapon swapping until level 10. It's a little obnoxious. Specific weapons only like the spear. Okay. Thank you for the lurk, Perny. All right, where's Blop? Let's go shopping. That was the wrong button. Oh, what's this? Shield stance. Three seconds blocks incoming attacks. Oh, cool. Uh, let me use my healing skill. Use it one more time and that'll finish that off. Hi, Blop. Trident seems like a, such a bad actual weapon. It's a spear, but worse. Um, no. Uh, Ashtray, those are... Those are for... Oh, I can dismiss them. I thought they were just for the DLCs and they wouldn't go away. Thank you. <clears throat> Ooh, another bag. Do I have another bag slot? Let's get the... Let's get a tiny sharpening stone. We'll use that. Uh, do I want the... Yeah, might as well. Oh, I don't have another bag slot. Oh, I can replace that bag? Yeah, okay. And then... Consume. Consume. Let's go. Free to play only gets two bags. Oi! How'd that work out for you, champ? Taking pot shots at me. Who do you think you are? A green moa. Uh, all right, let's go for the waypoint, I guess. I'm going to kill my way to the waypoint. Because we are getting an XP bonus right now. So those guys are slowly being converted. Mighty leggings. Give me pauldrons. I still have my stupid purple pauldrons. Uh, waypoints up here. Hup, 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 hup. Ah, spider. Bad spider. Bad spider. Interrupt the spider. Okay. Quay point. I don't like spiders. Nope. 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 No, 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 no. Mighty boots, mighty chest piece. That's not helpful. <clears throat> the slot levels go up pretty high, but yeah, two slots is way too little for the amount of loot that you get. That's already becoming an issue. <laughs> uh, boots. Are these three enhanced mighty leggings? Can I sell these or no? Because they're all just going to give me the same thing. 
Let me try the spear. And the aqua breather. You can destroy them? Okay. Buy salvage kits later that clear those up? Okay. Just throw it out. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. This jumping puzzle? There's a diving spot over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait. Equip your underwater weapon and face mask. Let me do that now. Whilst I'm underwater. There we go. Tsunami Slash. A Barracuda. Ooh. Barracuda. Why are the Barracudas green? Can I murder the Barracudas? I can't. Friendly fish. <clears throat> there is a jumping puzzle in this zone, like a platform you have to make jumps. It's kind of long, very fun though. Yeah, uh, I did. I played this when it first released, Berserker, 10, 10 years ago. And that was my, my favorite part of the uh, week or so that I played. These guys are beefy. They got some beef. Green animal. Oh, rangers can seduce green animals. Ah. I do remember that. Having a pet was a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, I need to get to... They've added so many over the years. One is called the Chalice of Tears, and by God, it deserves its name. <laughs> I need to get to this guy. This guy right here. Uh, so the heart is showing on my mini-map. Can I get up there? Yeah, let's go back this way. Chalice of your tears. <laughs> Puppy chow. How's it going? Welcome in. You can alt left click to mark on the map. Okay, thank you. Ooh, group aggro. Yeah, I finally did the F1. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> that was good. Okay. I liked that. That was the frenzy or whatever. Profession skills are juicy. Yeah. Adrenaline rising. The adrenaline drops off so quickly. That's uh, that's one big problem. But seems like it'd be really strong. Level 11 and 21 are your favorite levels. And 31. The Huans. These guys are level 7. Hi. Hi, yes. You are. Significantly stronger than your compatriots. Uh, Mighty Shield. Ooh, that's an upgrade. Nope, it's not. Twenty one is where the head hurts. Missed. Herb seedlings, a pink moa. Uh, okay. Can I pick those? Oh, I can't. Oh, I don't have a gathering tool. Okay. A Brill Alliance motor. Provoke captivated Skrit 
and calm enraged script, intercept script thieves, activate monitors, and interrogate IQ test subjects. Oh. <clears throat> uh, definitely, lovey. Definitely. When you pick your item from the chest, you want to right-click it to customize your stats. Yeah, uh, chicken, thank you. I did that. I'm wearing a mostly full set of it now. I didn't realize you could set stats. Uh, someone pointed that out earlier. Thank you. Oh, hi. Brit, I'm hit. Okay. Uh, that was part of the quest, so sure. What? Captivated what? script. What? I found your stash and took your stuff. Oh. Oh, hi. Yes, hi. I'm supposed to make you angry and then murder you? Oh, there we go. Oh! Sure. 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 Why not? Hi. Uh, you've got an attitude. Let's let's not have you drop boulders on my head. Thank you. Kinala, how's it going? Yes? Not no. Yes. It's a cave in out in the open. Where's the dirt come from though, right? Uh thank you so much, chicken. I appreciate it. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Um, let's look up here. I see Script Thieves. Some more monitors. Hi there! Oh man, the, uh... <clears throat> the warrior sequence of leap, bash, and then final thrust is real good. <laughs> At this level, anyway. <laughs> it's basically just, I'm gonna lock you down and murder you. And there's nothing you can do about it. No. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. It's nice to have lots of noobs in the starting areas. It's heartwarming almost. <laughs> Been enjoying the new influx of players from Steam. Nice. Yeah, I... I had an ArenaNet account. <clears throat> ArenaNet just doesn't believe me. <laughs> hey, heart's done. Oh, so close to level. Mostly use double axes. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I haven't really done... Uh, I've only done sword and board so far, so... Once I get a second weapon slot or whatever at 11, I'm going to flip around and try some other stuff. So I want to try uh, two-handers as well. See. Serpent wind. Is this leading me to something? I need to, what is that? Oh, that's one of those things. Okay, that was for the quest. <clears throat> oh, let me complete that. Level up. Level nine. I can now gather. I now have three down skills. Oh, I can choose what I want to do. Uh, logging, harvesting, or mining. As a warrior, what's going to give me the best thing? Oh, you get all three. I don't have to choose. Beautiful. I like that. I like that better. So I can log and gather and chop and mine and stuff. Okay. Cool. You have to equip them. Oh, they have charges. Okay. A tiny bag of Scrit Shinies. It's the Venom Sack. All right. Let's deposit that stuff.
Uh, there's a point of interest there. I need to get to that waypoint. Oh, there's a vista up there. We can go for that as well. What MMOs have I played previously? Uh, a lot. Uh, but not in a long time. So I played an absolute ton of EverQuest. A whole lot of vanilla Warcraft when it first came out. Uh, I stopped when Burning Crusade came out. And I haven't really gotten into an MMO deeply since that point. Uh, I've tried a ton of them. Like, I tried this one initially when it first came out. I've tried a bunch of them when they first came out. But changes in life and getting older make it difficult to really get roped in by an MMO. Um, which is kind of sad. But an unfortunate aspect of having kids and, you know, having responsibilities outside of yourself. Tried it three times before it really stuck with you. Oh, there's the the telescope, dude. I need the telescope, dude. That'll be my third telescope, dude. We're still working on Adventure Guide Volume 1. Scouting the area. Here's my third scout. There's some very interesting research going on in the Ack Wilds. Dr. Blint, as he insists on being called, has been distilling a drink from oozes, much to the chagrin of local <clears throat> peacemakers. Pruda, specifically, is investigating Blint's suspect practices. Also, Parna has been reconstructing a gate that she thinks will give access to an ancient transfer chamber. Hmm. Quite exhilarating, really. Interesting. <clears throat> it's gear grind free and good if you have limited time. Yeah, when I, when I played it initially... I didn't do a ton of stuff in the open world. I immediately jumped into world versus world um, and played most of my time was in that. <clears throat> that old Guild Wars 2 account that's floating. It's not floating. It's it's locked forever. <laughs> it's gone forever. Uh, I bought a physical copy of the game when it first came out. And ArenaNet will not unlock my account unless I send them in the mail. Like, via the United States Postal Service. The CD key from that box. I, I know the username and password. That's not the problem. I'm not locked out of the account. They locked the account. Because it had been too long since I logged into it. And I'm not the only one that's happened to. And it's like, that was three houses and many years ago. That box is long gone. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not the only one that has had that issue with the net. Apparently, it's a pretty consistent problem. Tried WoW Classic. You didn't like it. WoW Classic is the only WoW that I've ever played. So, I don't really know how much it has changed since then. I haven't genuinely haven't really had the desire to go back to it since since then, so. But then you log in and can't, yeah, you can't get your own stuff. Um, and the, the last one was, well, the game's free now, so just start a new account. That's not... I, I gave you my money. I want my product. <laughs> so that's, that's one of the reasons why I haven't played in 10 years. A mighty dagger. Um, there is a thing up here. I need to get on top of this. Has been kind of lackluster. It kind of goes for most. The vast majority of MMOs suffer from that same problem. So it's not unique in any way to ArenaNet. But... Oh, I can't get up that. All right. So we're going to have to jump up there from outside. How far I got last time? I did I did a lot of the like the personal story stuff, but it was a very it seems like it was a very different game back then. Uh I did a bunch of jumping puzzles and then just did world versus world. 
like some of the initial world versus world stuff. But I really didn't play for all that long. Uh, maybe a couple weeks. So I do remember loving the vistas. <clears throat> Yeah, puppy. But I, it's not like I got it wrong. I just logged in for the first time in a long time. And they were like, we need to verify your account. It was just... Yeah, anyway. Add the CD key to the ticket. They opened it and got your account back. My problem was I didn't have the CD key because too many years and too many moves had gone by. That box was gone, so I couldn't like dig through and pull out the, the CD key. Don't know how much the core has changed over 10 years, but it feels dated compared to what they've added in the new zones. Ah, okay. I haven't seen any of the new zones or anything, so... This is all... Also, I played a Norn... Uh, a Norn Hunter when I first started, so I only got to experience the Norn starter area uh, long enough to get to Lions... Lions Gate? Uh, the... The main town. <laughs> or whatever it is. Uh, and then just did world versus world after that. Uh, using waypoints, professional skills, and leveling up one. I need to get to level 10. Okay. And that, that I think is the last. So these three, I think are the last on. I have to use a waypoint. I need to use my profession mechanic three more times. Level up once more. Oh, it looks like I only need to complete one more of these things. Okay. Lion's Arch. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Lion's Gate is the film studio. <laughs> Ooh. I don't like that, sir. Kill it. Don't kill it. You die, not me. Are you gonna aggro on me? Can I get a can I get a nice chain going here? You need some help? You guys are bleeding out, though. Doesn't look real good for you. What was that? What exactly was that supposed to be? Boom! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that knockback was incredible. Okay, uh, I completed stuff. Mount trial active. Road test for the raptor. For the next 10 hours of gameplay, you can explore Tyria with the help of your trial mount. Upgrade your account. Oh, okay. Here's something that you're not going to be able to use after the time is up. Enjoy it, and then give us money. <laughs> Temporary access to the raptor mount. Great. Thanks. Uh, personal story unlocked. Weapon swapping. Yes. Okay. Uh, upcoming is Hero Points, Crafting, Masterwork Equipment, and Personal Story Chapter 2. Graphically? Yeah, no, that's fair. Mounts were expansion only for a long time. They added them late to the game. Uh, except. That gave me a bunch of experience. Whoa. Did doves just fly by me? <laughs> okay. Almost level 70? Haven't tried to craft anything yet. <clears throat> Once you unlock it for reels, it's account-wide. I got mail. Uh, prize is up for grabs. Thanks again for helping me put the inquest in its place. Have you been busy out there? Snaf prize competition? I have to remain impartial, of course. Eager to see you there. Okay. The Snaf prize must be ours. Da -da -da -da. Time is growing short. 
Get over to the parade grounds near Obscura Incline and wear your most convincing smile. It's the next story chapter every 10 levels. Okay. Mounts, except for the Raptor, kind of break the core maps. Right, because they weren't designed with, with mounts in mind, right? Ooh, there's another thing. A jungle worm. Tunnels and bites. Yowzer. Hold X to mount, hold space to leap. Okay. There's free stuff in the game right now? Okay. Let me kill some worms in the world. Look at that. Don't you tunnel! You. Should have stun locked them, but I didn't. Don't forget to equip the rifle. Oh, right! I forgot. Uh. I have a mighty greatsword, too. Hold up. Um, how do I set up different? Aha! Oh, so you can have completely different armor? Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's keep our current armor on. I need better pauldrons, big time. Uh, and then we'll use the rifle. Oh, wait, you could switch between weapons on each profile? So if I hit... Interesting. Okay, hang on. Let me unequip that. And then put you down here. Okay. Fierce shot. Fire shot at your target. Gain might if you strike a vulnerable target. Volley. Fire shots at your foe. Explosive shell. Uh, brutal shot. Immobilize and move backwards. Okay. And rifle butt. Okay. Got it. Stop. <laughs> Stop clicking the two tab. Okay, so I can swap weapons. Completed. I did it. Oh, hi. Yes. Hello. Uh. Boom. Is this different? Kill shot. Oh. I want to try kill shot. Kill shot. Three. <laughs> Three hundred and thirty-four. Uh, action camera with ranged weapons is more fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you have cooldowns, you can just swap to the other weapon. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. That's super fun. Uh, level 11. Uh, hero points, utility skill slot. You've unlocked your first utility skill slot. To equip a utility skill, click the arrow above your seventh skill slot and select the skill. Okay. Adrenaline stage two. Your adrenaline bar can now fill an additional stage, which increases the effectiveness of your F1. Okay. Accept. Uh, upcoming crafting in one more level. Change skills. Pain inverter. Apply confusion to nearby foes. You gain resolution. Incoming condition damage decreased by 33%. Radiation field. Does this mean it's a ranged ability? Uh, poison and weakness. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, Techno Babble, Daze Your Foe, Defiance Break 300. 
Voodoo in Witch Space, welcome in. Elementals can have eight skill bars between two weapons and four elements. It can be overwhelming. If you press H. Oh! Oh! That's what hero points are for. Okay. Ooh! Now that I'm 11, I can go back and challenge that frog, right? Those three skills are the lame... Oh, so these can replace those. Got it. Okay. Signet. Healing Signet. Regenerate health. Passive. Hmm. Uh, stance. Heal yourself. Absorb all incoming strikes for a period of time. All incoming str Ooh. That seems... Strong. Uh, shout. Heal yourself and regain all adrenaline. All nearby allies gain endurance. Banner. Uh, place a banner that damages and dazes foes on initial placement. Then pulses boons to you and all nearby all allies afterwards. So it gives might. 15 condition damage, 15 power. Two second daze. The boon is applied every three seconds. Does 157 damage. Lasts for 15 seconds. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> to the limit is really fun just to go ham with your F1. Berserker. Oh, I can't specialize. Whatever. Stupid Heart of Thorns expansion. Uh, discipline. Focus your anger in one burst. Discipline reduces the time between swapping weapons and improves adrenaline gain in order to allow more frequent use to burst skills. Ew. Gain adrenaline on weapon swap. Dope. Uh, I can't. Not enough hero points. Am I not high enough level for... Oh, requires level 21. Got it. Okay. So these are the base specializations, and then these are the elite ones. Requires Heart of Thorns. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of thinking Stance. <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking Stance. They each require each of the expansions. Okay. Berserker. Uh, so Defiant Stance seems real good. I'm gonna take it. I knew I'd achieve this. Boom. Uh oh, I can get okay, so I have two more. Got it. So then the hero challenges, I'm guessing. That I that I can do now, unlock, or give me more things. Can I? Why can't I? Oh, that's in place of that. Oh, 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 got it. So now this is a utility skill. Got it. That breaks stun. Ooh. Okay. I'm catching on now. I'm with you. Heal skills are always on your six slot. Okay. <laughs> Berserker, I always play barbarians and tanks and stuff, so it's not... It's not really... <laughs> not really weird that... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's do... What's after Frenzy? Balanced Stance. Gain stability and swiftness in an interval, become immune to critical hits. Hmm. Then Endure Pain. Take no damage from attacks. You're still susceptible to conditions and control effects. 
Berserker Stance. So the cap of this is Berserker Stance. All right, so let's get Frenzy, the utility skill. Gain Quickness and Might. Uh, and it breaks stun, so yes. Yes! Yeah, I didn't want to go into Signet because it wouldn't get me a an active ability, so we can go into Signet after that. All right, so I want to go back to... Where was that? This this place. This guy. Earn a hero point. So, let's teleport that. That'll complete using a waypoint. Then we'll go back and do the hero challenge. Jovial, how's it going? I'm in Asura. They're like, know me goblins. Yeah. Ding, ding. All right. We do the hero challenge. Are you guys going to turn? Or what? No. Less to worry about for now? That's fair. Guns are funs. Now they turned. There we go. The gold flipper. Uh, I would like to test your might. Oh, hi. Yes. Hello. Oi. Not nice. He's level three. Yeah. Well. What do you need? I can wait. Did I get a hero? I got a hero point, right? No. Oh yeah, I did. I only had one. Now I have two. So that's not repeatable, right? Doesn't give anything next time. Yeah, okay. Thought so. Alright. Uh, defeating enemies 2. I'm at 16 of 100. Uh, complete story chapters and gather crafting materials. Okay. See, I don't know why the, I don't know where the uh, alert is. See, thank you so much for 23 months. Aziz, light. Thank you. By the time you hit level 80, you'll have enough points to unlock every core spec and, sil and skill. Ah, okay. Strand of lush kelp. Do I need that? I don't think I need that. Uh, it's a trophy. Oh, okay. I need to... I need to find a merchant. Ooh, an axe! So, oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I want a dual wheel. I can do that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the axe changes my abilities. Oh, that's right. Abilities are based on what weapon you're using. Why did that not click until right now? Uh, okay. Chop. Cyclone axe. Spin around and attack all nearby foes. Throw axe. Uh, impale. And that's my sword abilities. Impale and repost. Okay. And then this is eviscerate. All right. So throw. 
Don't, you're not allowed to throw stuff back at me. It's just rude. When you complete a heart, the heart NPC comes a vendor you can sell to. Yes, yes. Sorry, that's actually what I was going to do. That's the, <laughs> the reason I came over here, then I got distracted. That never happens, though. Trying to find a Gilmore's meme. Uh, I have that kelp you're looking for. There you go. You're no match for my intellect. Sell. I don't want those. I don't want that. Sell all junk. Okay. Uh, that'll sell. That'll sell. That I'm gonna hang on to. That'll sell. That'll hang on to 104 to 117. You can sell that. Glyphic icon? Wait, it's a focus? Oh, is that a mage thing? Okay, I don't need that then. Vital dagger. Mighty greatsword. Oh, I do want to try the greatsword too. The meme is that I'm even playing this, Salter. How's it going? Uh, Berserker. Thank you so much for the prime sub. I really appreciate that. Welcome in. Enjoy your emotes. There's 20 something of them. Thank you, thank you. It's very kind of you. Okay. Uh, oh, I missed a heart over here. Salvaging gives you mats, so salvage the gear. Okay, I got you. I don't know. I don't... I don't know that I like the axe in the main hand, so let's do that. What does that give me? Dual strike. Strike your foe with both weapons. Gain quickness for each strike that hits. I like that. And whirling axe. I like that too. No more shield bash. But we can still reap in. Double <laughs> Yep, I like that. Tug tired is the only ne <laughs> emote needed for every situation. You're not... You're not wrong. Okay. Very much like the axe in the offhand. Made you want to play again, but you couldn't find your account info? Yeah, I'm just playing on the free... Uh, the free version on Steam. Jovial. Why are you running? Ooh, that's fun. Sophistication. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Indeed. Quite. Quite. Um. We did that. There is a point of interest. Oh, I wanted to go to this heart. Let's go that way. Also, I leveled up. Upgrades. What are upgrades? Upgrade items to improve your equipment's performance. Double click, click an upgrade and then click on a piece of gear with an unused upgrade slot and fuse the gear. Oh, okay. Salvaging. Some items you find will be salvageable. Use a salvage kit. I should go find a salvage kit. Uh, concentration, power, toughness. And I get a crude salvage kit. Okay. Let's do power. <clears throat> uh, I don't need that. Let's open that. Your road to great starts by joining our uh, I don't want to apply it. Can I do that in here? Yeah. Let's apply you to the short sword. Sure. Boom. Three power. Nice. Oh, fix okay. Has riled up the local Hylak again. Oh, the black iron. Yes, thank you. That, that reminds me. And I do, I do have mail. Yes. Uh, promotion. Communal boost bonfire. Sure. Uh, life with friends box. A revive orb and teleport to friend. Oh, huh. cool. Black Lion chest key. Sure. 
A total makeover kit. Sure. Why would I ever want to change this look? Okay. And then this is all not free. Birds are attacking me. Yeah. Uh, delivery. Teleport to friend. Double click to consume. Teleport to a party member's location. That's dope. And a revive orb. Cool. Uh, double click to consume. Double click to construct a bonfire. Fully stoked bonfires grant 60 minute boost for karma, experience, or magic find. Bonfires last for 15 minutes. Dope. Delete that. Uh, thank you. Has riled up the local hype again. Let's go. I warned him about crossing the line between research and petty theft. Uh, I have two. Why is it telling me I need to do something with this? I don't want to. I could get the signet, I guess. The signet gives passive regen, but I haven't really used defiant stance yet, which makes all incoming attacks heal me. I haven't really taken enough damage to use it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. Um. Aha! All mounts have a special movement skill. When running, hold space to jump long distances. Okay. Whoa! Significant distances. Alright, there is a heart over here. Hello! How do I get this to go away? What do you need? Speak with Kai to test his proto-golem, then examine electrical distortions and report back. Repair and revive scrap ADTs. How can I help? Uh, controls are sophisticated. Let me at it. We'll follow and observe you. Each time you disrupt an, elect an electrical distortion, the bot will note the interaction. Afterwards, return the proto-gem so I can read its log. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else I should know? You may encounter bad stuff. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Probably should have done this one earlier. Boom. Let's resurrect you. This heart's going pretty quickly. Thus far. Okay, that, that actually didn't give me much. Do I need to talk to you? Or Okay. Not until the end. Good boy. What does that mean? Oh, does that mean we've neutralized it? He knows how to handle them now? Sweet. No more fighting. So we can just spam our way through. <laughs> Let's repair the scrap one. Oh! Oh! This one! Okay. That completed it. Back to the heart. Except. Hi, Penny. No. Ma'am. Ma'am. What is this? Uh, healing power. Incomp leather boots. I don't need devout shoes. No. Uh, these are militia boots. Heavy armor. They're less deep. Nah, I don't want those. Sharpening stone we can grab. Might as well. It ups our, ups our uh, experience earn from kills, so. Okay. I need to get to the bank or something. 
that's that heart. I got that. That thing. Let's see. Oh, there's another point of interest back here we missed. I'm only at 36% completion. There's so many more hearts. There's seven more hero challenges. The snaff pro Oh, is that my... That my personal quest? Yowza. Oh, jeez. Thank you. Okay, let's go do the personal quest then. Um... Might as well use the mount before it runs out. <laughs> Since we only get we only get ten hours of free time. Go. Do, 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 do. Jeez. It's unnecessary, Ashtray. Thank you. Did I miss the end of the event? Okay. Uh, is there a... There's nothing up here. There's no, like, bank or anything. Interesting turn of events. Interesting. Yes. Let's call it an unforeseen... All right, let's do... The personal quest. Would you like to continue your story? Yeah, same, same Vulcan, same. Let's try the Snaff Browse. There's a bank in the settlement. Oh, right, 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 that big group. Finally, right. you're here. We had to give up our space in the queue. Now the College of Synergetics is behind Dynamics, <sighs> Statics, and Inquest. With respect, sir, that just means they've saved the best for Tally, how's it going? Good to see you. Our interspatial translocator is this year's clear winner. One hopes. Remember, the founder of the event... <laughs> like and there's constantly the a bright light in his eye. A synergetics alumnus. She'll hold us to a higher standard. Let's review once more, okay? I'll operate the translocator. I give the judges some batter, explain the translocator's brilliance, and then... Then you fire it at me. I'm the most familiar with the device and with being teleported. So I'm the least likely to regurgitate breakfast all over the judge's table. Exactly. Mm, you appear breakfast in a regurgitation. Of brilliance. Yummy. Proof teleportation is possible without a receiving gate, and the snaff prize is ours. It's brilliant. I can't wait to see the expression on the judge's faces. Right now, crewmate Paul, they just look bored. They're waiting for us. So let's get out there and dazzle them. Snaff prize, here we come. You got you got to give them what you have. Yes, yes, Tail. Your floating Grizz world is very impressive. Dun, 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 dun. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Behold, teleportation without a receiver. And note that my assistant is completely intact. I'm completely so intact. And this is the second time your Ish. assistant has impressed me. Huzzah! You put on quite a show with other people's work. That teleporter is in this property. Fork it over. What? What? Never. This is my cruise oh, adventure. We're gonna fight. We'll die before we give it up to the likes of you. We will. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, we will. I was hoping you'd say that. Inquest, you heard those plagiarists. Kill them all. Well, that's aggressive. How about we not? Oh, golems. Oh, big golems. Oh, 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 big spinny golems. That'll silence you. 
Saltra! <laughs> Thank you for gifting a sub to mini NPC. And his crew win this year's snap prize. Unacceptable. That device derived from inquest research, and I have evidence to prove it. That's a serious dodge, allegation. Dodge. The judges will certainly look into it, but in the meantime, the decision stands. However, in light Love the way of you wobble when you finish moving. Like his head's way too heavy. After the council fully investigates, credit and blame will be assigned to the deserving parties. Uh, speak to Zoja. Who's Zoja? Not you. Not you. Not you. Speak to Zoja. Zoja's over here. Hi! Best animations, no context. Yeah. <clears throat> this is an outrage. How could the council credit an inquest? I used to get that a lot. Like me. We're not that far we off in age. Claim so. the title Snap Savant in circumstances like these. I will not go down in history as the only Snap <clears throat> prize winners with an asterisk by their name. This calls for an incredibly stern letter of protest. A stern Take letter? Mark. It's obvious Flax and Teo are working together, and I will not let them besmirch Snaff's memory. Zoja's right. The Council accepted that protest and gave away our translocator suspiciously fast. I think that whole parade was rehearsed. <laughs> Get out, cranky. It's only a matter of time <laughs> before great. they rescind their decision, uh. take away your victory, and award the Snaff Prize to the inquest. I say we even the score. Let's take back your teleporter by force before they take away your right to do it legally. Translocator. Sounds like a plan to me. I put a tracking device in to avoid a repeat of the sewer incident. The that sewer will tell incident? Us where to find it. Count me in. It'll be tough, but I have a stake in this too. And maybe if I mm -hmm. help recover the translocator, you'll stop bringing up the sewer incident. Oh, I think we know Let's whose fault the sewer incident you was. You can point their location with a tracking device, and we'll intercept them before they can lock it up in one of their labs. I have a few preparations to make and a few allies to switch on. I'll meet you on the road. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Complete. Ooh. Uh, chainmail gauntlets. Slightly more defense, plus three power. Uh, slightly more defense, plus three precision. Okay, so we got power, precision, or vitality. Let's do... Oh. There's scale gauntlets? Scale, ringmail, and chainmail. Let's do scale. And get a four slot leather bag and three bags of loot. Sure. I can add power onto him, so I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna go with the vitality one. Uh, level 13. Ooh, I got a bunch. I've unlocked conditions, daily achievements, and laurels. Laurels? What are laurels? Laurels are currency earned through daily login rewards that can be spent at laurel merchants. And how many currencies are there? God. <laughs> Can't we just pick a currency and stick with it? Uh, conditions are negative status effects. Players and creatures use. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Gotcha. Too many. Yeah. Upcoming rewards. Masterwork equipment at 14. 15 gives me five more hero points. Personal story chapter 2 at 20. And 21 is specializations. I haven't seen a fraction of it yet. Oh boy. Press I and click on the coin icon in the lower left corner. Are you. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> How? <laughs> That's not even all of them. How is that not even all of them? <laughs> it used to be worse. I think when I played, there was coins, karma, and gems. And that was it. <laughs> 
I don't I don't remember any of this. <laughs> Research notes? I, oh no, there was there was world versus world one. I remember that. Bandit crests? I <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Ten year old MMO, bro? Yeah. They're removing them slowly. <clears throat> welcome in, Seth. Uh, Trixo, welcome in as well. They can all be translated to gold, but there's a few. Okay, yeah. That's, yeah. Whenever a new map or expansion comes out, they give new things to collect. That way you can't farm the previous expansion into oblivion and then just buy all the things. Gotcha, that makes sense. I, like, make it like a faction token or something. You, not like a currency? I don't know. That just feels a little overwhelming. Um, I'm done here, right? Meet Zoja on the road. Okay, so I can leave this instance. <clears throat> on the road near the Hydrone unit. Okay, all the way over yonder. Uh, so I want to go... What is that? What is happening there? Uh, there is a town over... Oh. Oh. Uh, I need to go to the banker. I want to go there. Oh, I can just travel there. Yes. <clears throat> One of the few disadvantages of a hor horizontal progression system. Oh! Oh! What is... Uh... There's a lot of stuff going on. Oh! Oh! Dodge! Dodge! Get me out! Get me out! I should have. Oop. I rallied. Uh oh. Did I get out? <laughs> Did I get out? <laughs> Let me out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no idea what just happened, but I leveled up. I'll take it. Sure. Exhilarating. <laughs> Absolute mayhem. Threat level minimal. Welcome. Uh, I unlocked map completion, masterwork equipment, and I got a hat. Noise. Yeah, 14 already. Flying by. I unlocked rings at level 20. Uh, hero points. Okay. What is this? Awakening Threat. Palawan Phylactery. The heck? Yeah, I want to equip that. I want to equip those. Open those. Ooh, a mask. Oh, I can't wear it. Patch. <clears throat> The school just phoned me. They said, your son has been telling lies again. Well, tell him he's getting very good at it because I ain't got any kids. Patch, thank you for the biddies. Uh, Diddy Gravy, how's it going? Welcome in. Uh, there's some chest keys in there too. Oh, in the currency stuff? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The event is from slightly newer content because some of the new content gets added to the core game zones. That's why it's a harder event. Gotcha. I had no idea what was happening there. Two pieces of unidentified gear. Okay, wait, let me... Do I have stuff? I only <laughs> I have one thing that can go in there. Um, I need to go to the bank. There was a banker guy in here, right? Yeah. New account. No, they didn't get stuff figured out. I'm playing on the free version on Steam. 
Do, 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 do. Can't even find it. I can't yet, Ashtray. Seven separate labs and pack them all together like a snowball. Where is the banker? This guy? Banker. Bank. Hi. Yes. Hello. Uh, I'm going to put you away. 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 The awakened remnants have been eradicated. Oh, I got a thing. I got another phylactery. From the event? Zone defense defended one of six areas. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, that bag, I can't use it anymore. Uh, what else did I want to put in here? I have other stuff I wanted to put in here. Biddle that I can sell. That I need to open. I can sell most of this stuff. Nope, didn't want to do that. All right, wait. Uh... Let's use that. Open that. What's this? A swindler mask I can't wear. Unidentifiable object. Okay. A swindler pauldron. Why am I getting medium stuff? I need heavy stuff. <laughs> uh, a broken lockpick. Unidentified gear, that I can't use either. And this stuff was all level 5. So if I... Uh, this. Double click. So. Okay, so that gives me ore. Okay. Salvage. That I'm going to hang on to. Salvage. Uh, that I think I'm going to sell. That's 48. Yeah. Okay. What's that? Ooh, required level 78. <laughs> I think. Um, uh. <laughs> I d I d I don't think I'm going to be able to use any of these. <laughs> Required level 80. Required level 80. Uh, it'll they'll sell for decent money at least. Uh, holy stats. Okay, wait. I need a merchant. I need a merch. Ant. Hi. Excelsior. Excelsior. Sell. Brittle bone. Uh, sell junk. That I can't use. Sell. Then I'm gonna hang on to, then I'm gonna hang on to, then, 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 Sell, sell. That I need. That I can't use. Car level 14, I can't use. My profession can't use that. And that, okay. <clears throat> new achievements for the 10th anniversary, new player stuff make leveling insanely easy. Yeah, it seems to be going pretty quickly. And I can get more salvage kits. So, crude salvage kit. Crafting materials from an item in your inventory. Small chance of salvaging upgrades. Basic salvage kit. 10% chance of rarer materials. 20% chance of salvaging upgrades. Okay, so better kit, better results. And then, same thing with the better uh, harvesting stuff. You could put a glyph slot on the harvesting. That's interesting. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's put stuff in the bank. These, I can just destroy, I guess. Although... If I do this... Oh, I can't. You can't salvage them. Okay. All right, so then I'm just going to destroy them. Destroy. That's unfortunate that you can't salvage them. Just taking up space. Because that's all level 5 stuff, so that's not going to be 
useful for me at all. I think I have, those are all ones that I've, uh, that I've unlocked. Double click to gain 10 luck. Wait, permanently? Permanently. There's no buff. Huh. Ashtray, I, like, genuinely, I appreciate it, but calm down. All right? <laughs> Please. Uh, all right, let me put the rest of this stuff in the bank. I appreciate sending stuff. I don't want to use it. Uh, I want to earn my way up and, and get stuff on my own. So I do appreciate you sending it, but I want to I want to explore and experience it for myself. So as much as I genuinely do appreciate it, um, relax a little bit. 138 to 52, 153. Okay, so we can sell this great sword or oops, salvage that one. Salvage. And then put that away. And we'll hang on to the shield. Okay. <clears throat> Do -do. All right, so what do I have? Defeating enemies, two, so a hundred enemies. I'm almost to tier two on that. Uh, story chapters, crafting materials. Okay, so my inventory is now in a better place. Let's put this stuff down here. I haven't tried two-handed swords yet, so I want to do that. So let's swap to the rifle and equip. What do we got? Uh, swing, slice. Oh, it adds vulnerability. Wait a minute. Doesn't, wasn't there something that gives... Was it this? Damage increases with... No. Didn't I have something that increased damage if the target was vulnerable? Maybe it was one of the axe abilities? The main hand axe abilities, maybe? Alright, I want to try the two-hander for a bit. Let's see how it goes. Uh, Bibba22, how's it going? Welcome in. Thank you, Lork. Um, okay. Let's go... You going fishing? You need... Okay, one of... You, apparently, you need the DLC to be able to fish. If you're new to the stream, I have... I have a small enjoyment of fishing in games. So... <laughs> Throw your greatsword at your foe and rush. Ooh, I'm gonna like the greatsword. <laughs> okay, that's. Where are you going? Are you running away? Oh, you're much slower with the greatsword. Okay. Das, how's it going? <clears throat> Great sword boomerang. What's the difference? That I think it's really a size thing. It hits both ways. That's great. Rush. Oh, okay. So that's a targeted one. Whirlwind attack. Whirl in a target's direction, slashing foes along your path. Okay. So that's one where I have to confirm. All right, got it. Yeah, Chaz, I was using a rifle earlier. The first, when I, when this game came out, I played as a uh, ranger uh, briefly, so. 
Um, I did the range. Today, so. Thank you, Triforce. Triforce, good to see you, by the way. It's been a while. Say hi to your brother for me. Um... So then I can do this. <laughs> Boomerang. Okay, two hander is kind of fun. You usually play WoW, so it's a nice change. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played WoW since uh, Burning Crusade came out. <laughs> so it's been a little while. All right, there should be. Oh, there's a Vista in town. Let's go get that. There's also crafting stations, which I might want to look at. Gia Hailstorm, how's it going? How much of the game do I remember from that old account? I basically did, I started as a Norn. I did some stuff in the starting area, a couple jumping puzzles and vistas, and then basically just did world versus world. So, not a ton. <laughs> and it's been 10 years, so. Or almost 10 years. The world skill has iframes? Ooh, okay. Thank you, Trixo. That's that's a good shout. Uh, yeah, so I don't remember much, and I was never in the Asura starting area at all. Gia, so. Uh, okay, let's go up here. <clears throat> No, Ashtray, you're good. It's, uh, you're good. Don't worry about it. That's why I said something. It's better I say something than someone else does, you know. Oh, I need to get up there and jump over? So, maybe in here? Where's this go? This is just a dead end. That's not what I need. I love the visuals on that stuff. It's so cool. The uh, the shout that it looks like uh, the sunken Subnautica stuff is very accurate. Oh, I see something promising up there. How did you get up there? How did you get up? Oh, there's steps right there. I went from the tallest race to the shortest. Yeah. Generally, generally speaking, in games, I'll I do big, beefy berserkers or tanks. So I figured it'd be it'd be a nice juxtaposition to go with somebody tiny. Oh, here's the jeweling station. Okay, an artifice. All right. Yeah, the jumping puzzles are really cool. They were my favorite part of the the game. And the vistas are like what a what a cool mechanic to just be able to show off what you've built. That a lot of people will, you know, like when you're playing particularly theme park style MMOs like this, you miss just how like look at that, how much work went into that. It's a great way to showcase your work. Yeah, no, Trixo, it's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> I just wanted to cut it off before it started escalating because having been doing this for a while it escalates quickly P. Gerald, how's it going? The visuals in this game are so gorgeous still, yeah I mean, think about how old the game is and it still looks real good I always get a kick out of it being compared to games that came out after it, yeah I love just being able to mindlessly explore in games. So that always, like, just brings me joy. Um, being able to get lost is a lot of fun. Uh, let's flip back to... I'll explore a little bit with the rifle. Okay. Uh, there's another hero point over here. Kind of want to go for that. I got that guy, right? 
<clears throat> it's the Reaper isn't the elite specialization of the Necromancer. Okay. Elite specializations were not a thing, so I have no idea. Oh yeah, map completionists, 100% you, 100%. Necromancer Reaper is amazing. I might have to look at that. I don't have uh, I don't have the DLCs, so I can't do elite specializations at the moment anyway. Uh Oh, there's a hero point over there? Is that the one? That's not the one I got. No, the one I got was down here. Hero point earned. Earn a hero point. Okay, so let's go for this one first. Because this one I think might be above. We might have to go through here. The expansion maps have better graphics too. Yeah, that's what a lot of folks were saying. I mean, this is, this is what I remember the game looking like when I played it. So. If it's fully lime green, you've done it. Okay. Where am I going? I want to go over here. This way. Try not to aggro everything, but I probably will. Odd that they didn't upgrade it. Each of the DLCs, the visuals get a bit upgraded. <clears throat> Matrix imprint lock. Is this a heart area? No. What are you doing? There's got to be something that leads to this, right? Probably a quest chain. Wait, where? Oh, it's this. Oh, the giant Norn is blocking it. Excuse me, sir. Can your bulk get out of the way? You've triggered I you've triggered the lab tutorial. I'm Ula, lab genius. Much to learn. Push commence when you're ready to begin. You're in charge, second rule of the lab is that you're not. Okay. Necromancy and Golemancy have long been destined to collide. One of the deals with death, the other with life. I'm on the verge of creating a new kind of golem that creates life from death. Oh good. What could possibly go wrong? I must challenge your retention of the facts and prove you're not totally incompetent. Who am I? Oh. Ula the lab genius. What's the second? I should have read that. <laughs> I am not in charge. The two important ideas that were destined to collide. Necromancy and Golemancy. What are we? The future? You're the moron I thought you were when you activated this recording. <laughs> Okay, let's read it this time. Uh, first rule, I'm in charge. Second rule, I'm not. Know your place. Necromancy and Golemancy. We're all part of the eternal alchemy. Our very beings embody magic. Okay. I'll remember. Probably. That's why the Norn was standing there for so long. Right. Uh, lab genius. The second rule of the lab is I am not in charge. Necromancy and Golemancy. We embody magic. Congratulations. Okay. Ooh, and we leveled up. Nice. Oh, five more. Nice. And utility slot two. Ooh. Select your reward. Ooh, a hammer. Is that two-handed? It is a two-handed hammer. I wonder what the hammer wants. Minor sigil of air. Unleash a lightning strike upon critically hitting a foe. Minor sigil of ice. Chill a foe for two seconds after striking from its flank. Minor sigil of frailty. Inflict vulnerability for five seconds after striking a foe from its flank. Uh, let's do ice. Okay, five more hero points at 17. E I want to use that. Stop. 
hammer time. Backbreaker, staggering blow, hammer shock. What do we got? Hammer swing, bash and smash, fierce blow, weaken your flow with the fierce blow, dealing increased damage when striking a controlled foe. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, hammer shock, a crippling wave, so that's a snare. Staggering blow is a knockback. And then backbreaker, knock down your foe. Weakened foes stayed knocked down for longer. Recharges fierce blow, which does more damage to controlled, which knocked down is one of the things. Okay, cool. You don't understand. It's cool, cool, cool. Just any hologram. It's cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's look at hero ah, stuff. Yes. Stance. Love of traps, her Balanced like stance. Stand. Gain stability and swiftness on an interval. Become immune to critical hits. Uh, that increases my movement speed and my stability, keeping me from being knocked down, pushed back, pulled, launched, stunned, dazed, floated, sunk, feared, or taunted. Hmm. Hmm. You want the lightning hammer? <clears throat> um, how many points? Oh, I have 13. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, what's after balance stance? Endure pain, take no damage, still susceptible to conditions and control effects. Okay, that seems really good too. So if this was two, this is three, so that's probably going to be four. And then five, which means I would need 12 to max out the tree, if I'm right. It looks like I might be right. Oh, only four. Nice. Boom. Okay. Berserker. Gain adrenaline for a short time. Gain pulsing resistance. Title of your... Uh, gain adrenaline every second. Resistance, non-damaging conditions currently on you are ineffective. Every second. Ooh, that's cool. What does adrenaline do? Do -do -do. Berserker stance. Anybody know what adrenaline does? Uh, and then let's do Signets. Uh, and we can swap out Defiance Stance for the Healing Signet for now. Because <clears throat> that gives me regen, right? Oh, Adrenaline is this. Oh, right, 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 right. Thank you. Yes. So that gives me seven Adrenaline. Oh, no, it gives me seven Adrenaline every second for four seconds. Oh. Uh, okay. So that gives me almost enough adrenaline for a full bar. That's not bad. Alright, let's swap out this one for Signet. Get some regen. Regen. Okay, that's done. Uh, let's head up here. To the waypoint, because there's another hero point in here. So, what could possibly go wrong with that idea? <laughs> Jovial. <laughs> <laughs> and let's try out the hammer. Blam! Blammo! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> me likey smashy. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Ooh. Wait, is that a... What does that do? Hammer shock. Oh, that's the cripple. And then that's the backbreaker is the knockdown. Let's try that. Oh! 521. <laughs> Fierce Blow did 521 on the knockdown. Good lord. 
Uh, that's... How do I get up there? That's definitely a thing, right? That's got to be a thing, right? How do I get up there? That portal's just the exit? Oh. It looks like I need to get up there. Which is up there. So is there a cave? Maybe we can get in over here and come around to that? <clears throat> we got a heart. And we got a heart. I'm gonna kill these guys. Ooh, level 10. Let's go. Hi. Oh, two of you. Okay. <laughs> That's so much fun. Uh, I like the hammer. <laughs> the hammer is fun. But yeah, how's it going? Welcome. Yeah, that's my that's my guess too. I just gotta figure out how to get there. But first, I'm gonna kill some frogs. Oh, some fire breathing frogs. Oh, what is that? Adrenaline rising. Bag of supplies. Supplies. A pearl. Ooh. No, nah, I don't need healing, right? Okay. Ooh, copper ore. Let's go grab that. It's been a very anti-frog play for a way. Hello? I am very much enjoying the hammer. Denzi, how's it going? Can't even hold the hammer. Listen, it works. It works, okay? Weather siren. Oh, no. That's not a good sign. Uh, There's a hero point down here, too. Why are there... Hello. What are you guys doing? None of that. None of that. Hey, completed the heart. Check your weather alerts, right? <clears throat> uh, hero challenge is over here. Oh. Jesus. Take a glob. What happened? Did it work? Oh, use it to gain a hero point. Da da. Why am I red? Why am I red now? <laughs> I don't like that. You can right click on. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Ooh, blueberry bush. Give me that sweet, sweet experience. Uh, I thought that was a cave entrance. Twas not. Twas not. Side effect of the suspect drink? You mean I shouldn't drink green globs that random people in the swamp give me? That seems a little weird. Oh. Alright. Uh. 
<laughs> okay. Got a bunch of random potions, so character drank one and got giant yellow hands. I love that. Unidentified potions are my favorite. Just drink it. What could possibly go wrong? Turns out, a lot. Painted his hands yellow and put the gloves back on. Uh, there's a red barracuda over there. Gunk! Is that part of the heart quest? I don't really need that. Okay, there was a cave entrance over here, I think. Yes, with some copper ore. You can fake cast in this game. It costs you a four second cooldown. So you can bait your opponent with... Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. <clears throat> it could be sovereign glue. That's just mean, man. <laughs> That's just, that's just mean. Uh, I found a hidden swamp. I don't really want to go into the hidden swamp. There's another heart event. What is... Oh no, it's not really hidden. I can get to it from over here. Okay. Oh, there's another hero point right here. Let's go for that. Might as well. And these guys are friendly. Even better. What's the heart event? Assist the dragonfly hunt? Oh, Golemancer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Is that it? Got him. Okay. Two can spin at that game, buddy. Suspicious control panel. Uh, test panel is blinking with energy. The inquest are definitely up to something here. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Oh! <gasps> I got stunned! You stunned me out of my... Out of my frenzy. That was just mean. Okay. Did I get it? I got I got it. I got it. Got it. Wait till Halloween with all the transformation potions. Ooh, he knocked me back. Okay. What do I have to do? Assist the dragonfly hunts, gather soft marsh plants for the hatchlings, and protect the mycotal from evil hylek and crate. Soft marsh plants. Dragonflies. Okay. Really fun Halloween and Christmas events. Wish they could remake the 1 to 80 maps. Yeah, visually they're not they're not a good comparison. I haven't seen any of the new maps, so I I'm interested to see what they're like. I'd have to buy the DLCs, but I'm I'm a ways away from <laughs> from being at that point. So. That's not doing as much damage as it used to. Those guys are much higher level, but uh, deposit. Deposit. Uh, ooh, those are an upgrade. Where did those come from? I'll take it. A glyphic pistol. I can't use pistols? That seems weird. Ma'am. 
You don't need to yell at me. Thank you. Whoa. I keep getting stunned out of my stuff. That's wild. It's the first time that's happened. <laughs> Actually have to pay attention to what's going on in combat. All right. There's a video <clears throat> from a new player. Uh, that kind of stuff, the best place for that is to uh, post it up in Discord if you're, if you're in Discord. Dart gun cash? A dart gun? What do I do with this? Why do I have this? I don't want this. Oh, wait, it made them friendly? Oh! Oh, hold up. Yeah, it makes him friendly. I think. Does it? Yeah. Weird. Okay. This heart's going... Oh, I can pick up the... Wait. Did I pick up the dragonfly? Using the dragonfly to help you leap great distances. What? Wait a minute. Oh, it woke up. It woke up. <laughs> you can't hold on to it forever. I was going to say, you could totally use that to cheese some stuff. Yeah, those guys actually hurt a little bit. Uh, let's go up this way. Uh, I should finish that heart before I leave. I should finish the heart before I go. There's not much left. I can grab a couple plants and turn those in. Yo. That's rude. Just trying to get some plants here. Can you not? All right, where's my heart dude? Ooh, onions. Love a good onion. Love a good onion. Right. Hello. That's helping. Noise. Ooh, level up too. Uh, unlocked him. What do we get? Guild panel. Okay. Uh, ooh, next level we get more hero points. Noise. Show me what you got. Uh, earrings. I currently have. Condition. No, that's power. Crab skewer. That's a better spear. A fishing pole. Uh, also a better spear. Oh, it's a harpoon gun. Or a fish poker. I can't use a fish poker. I can use the harpoon gun, though. Let's get those. Uh... The glyphic pistol I can't use. Can I? I can't break it down. Okay. What is that? Edge of agony. Oh, I got a new... When did I get a new sword? That gave me an essence of luck. Take it. When did... When did I get a new sword? <laughs> I don't remember seeing that drop at any point. <laughs> uh, I can get the signet of might. Your attacks are unblockable. 
maybe as a level up reward. That's a possibility. Uh, let's do the axe is much better than my short sword. So let's swap out that short sword with that one. See how that goes. Let's try. Okay. Damage increased quite nicely. Okay. Urza, how's it going? It dropped from one of the mobs, did it? I got an energy crystal. Seems valuable. Can I sell it? No. I can't. Uh, we can sell this old short sword. Hmm. Interesting. Zero How far away is that? Oh, that marker's all the way over there. Let's go for this one. Because I still want to get back and see if I can figure out how to get to that jumping puzzle. So let's go this way. Maybe we can loop around. Use the last couple hours of my, uh, my mount. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Let's get to this spot. Hello. This looks safe-ish. Uh, it's been three and a half hours. I haven't taken a break in a couple hours. So I am going to take a very quick two minute break, get some little bit more coffee, maybe a snack. Uh, so now's a great time to grab a drink, grab a snack, get up and move around if you can. Look away from the screen for a minute. I'll be right back. But I genuinely didn't think that actually. <laughs> he's just going to he's gonna put it back in. He's just going to run back out. Uh, we need a mechanic urgently. <laughs> Put the pumpkin back, please. But he's so happy. Look at him. <laughs> you can totally see me? No, you can. I'm invisible. Where am I? Over here? No. No, no, no. Over here, no. I'm here. You're never gonna find me. I'm everywhere. Everywhere. A kind gesture. Oh boy. God. Terminator 28 bonus 2 with Super Cali Fragilistic Expialidocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. But you still won't have an ego as big as Tug Beetleidocious. I gotta find the the lady that I touched. Okay, wait, let's start that again. I need to find the blind lady that I put my hands on. No, wait. Uh, I need to... We'll look around. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <clears throat> Which one was that, Magnon? Okay. Uh, what was in here? Oh, there's a vista up here. Reinforce armor. Mary Poppins. Oh, the one where Zelda roasts me. That one. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, that was hurtful. <clears throat> cut a little. Cut a little. Uh, Excelsior. <clears throat> it's a little personal uh good is new wait does my gear 
Does your stuff have durability? What do you mean you fixed me up good as new? Not anymore. Is there durability? Oh, now they give a flat buff. Uh, reinforced armor. Okay. Increases health and defense. Got it. I got real confused. I'm guessing that the vista is up here. It is. Up yonder. Uh. Yoink. <clears throat> Used to repair your broken gear, but it was lame. They didn't change the voiceover. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Armor doesn't get great anymore. Okay. That's a good change, to be fair. I'll keep an eye out for those now. They give a flat buff. That's decent. Even for its age, that's still pretty. Like, the map is still really impressive. It was incredible when it first came out, though. The buff lasts for like eight hours. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. 11. It, it lasts for 12 hours. <laughs> that's. That's all right. Excelsior. Okay. I wanted to go. Up here and see if I can loop around. What is happening over there? Ah, spiders. Why has it always got to be spiders? Why are there so many spiders? No spiders. New event nearby. No. I don't want an event nearby. Whoa. Hello. Um. Um. Copper ore. Take it. Stop being invisible and die. Okay. <clears throat> Have a good time <laughs> cleaning the house patch. Or patching the clean. Either way. I don't like those guys. Uh, I don't like it in here. You've been hit by. You've been struck by. Uh. Nothing in here? Just some trolls? Hmm. Hmm. Stop going invisible. It's rude. What a great song. Uh, ha! Got you before you could go invisible, you jerk. That's what I thought. How about you? You're a veteran? Give it a go. Oh, that's a lot of hit points. Oh! Oh! No. I gotta remember to dodge. Too late. Got him. That didn't seem like a lot of experience. Holy. That was... Guys, moving. Um, power grid is fully operational. And 
the crew is currently running tests on future city cubes. Oh, there's like a city right next to me. And there's a hero point. <clears throat> Let me get inside the structure. OCD was flatlining it. <laughs> No. No. No, sir. Do, 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 do. What? Do, 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 do. That's a floating cube. Follow the bouncing cube. Zorlda. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the raid. Hi, everybody from Zelda's stream. My name is Tug, and I'm playing Guild Wars 2. Because everybody made me. Zelda, thank you for the raid. How is your stream? Matt, thank you so much for 37 months. That's a long time. Happy Monday. I hope your meetings have been enjoyable today. Thank you so much. Bud. Good to see you. Happy, happy Monday to everybody from Zelda stream. My name is Tug. If you were in my stream and you don't know Zelda, Zelda's a very good friend and a wonderful streamer. And you should go follow Zelda. She's also a mod, so she can shout herself out. Because I'm lazy. Um, Where's this hero point? Hold up. Hold up. It's a holiday, so only one meeting today, Matt. It's below me. A merchant, a wep ooh, a weaponsmith. What you got? What you got? You got anything that's moist? I can't use a pistol. Requires the elite specialization blade sworn. Okay. A mace. Ooh. I can use a mace. Uh, is that a one? No, that's a two-handed hammer. I guess a mace would be a one-handed hammer, right? Uh, I haven't used a mace yet. Can I use a staff? Why can't warriors just use everything? I can use a war horn. What's the war horn do? I'm guessing buffing? Each elite spec, the things that come with the expansion, unlock a new weapon that can only be used while you're spec'd into that elite spec. Got you. You have a meeting with one of your DMs to talk about character stuff? Nice. Nice. Also, Salty, how's it going? Good to see you. <clears throat> Mesmer Virtuoso FT. Oh, for the win. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, requires the elite specialization. I have to be a berserker to use a torch? That's weird. All right. Uh, the mace and the warhorn are cheap. So just to learn those. Oh, level 20 weapons. Should I wait till... Uh, these are cheap. I'm just going to buy these to try them. So we'll buy a warhorn. And a mace. In the H menu? Yeah, I can I can read them, but I want to use them. That's that's my main thing. Uh so let's do let's do this. <clears throat> uh we'll do a mace and a shield. So shield bash. Okay, so we have mace smash, counter blow, block the next attack and counter. And then pommel bash, which is a daze. Ooh. Mace and shield sounds like you could probably stun lock stuff. All right. So not super big damage from the mace. What did I go with? War yeah, warrior for now. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, 
De Niro. Thank you. I, I do appreciate that. I am a visual learner. <laughs> so if I don't like see it and don't use it, I will never remember or understand what it does. Warhorn. Charge grants boons and removes movement impairing conditions from all allies. Removes conditions from allies and grants them vigor. Affected targets also gain a barrier. Okay. So this is like group buff stuff. Yeah. It'll suffer from something else like applying conditions doing raw damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which one I like the best. It didn't attack me in the time I was trying to parry. Okay. And then Skull Crack. Another stun. Okay, so Mace is going to be heavy CC. That's cool. So what happens if I put Mace in my offhand? And... Uh, uh, let's just do Crushing blow. Crush your opponent's armor, leaving them vulnerable and gaining might. Vulnerability and might stacks doubled if you hit a disabled foe. Uh, tremor. Smash the ground with your mace, damaging the target and sending out a shockwave that damages and knocks down foes. Ooh. So... If you did tremor, then crushing blow, that would double your buffs. So if I engage with leap then Tremor, then Crushing Blow, then I should be able to just do Final Thrust to finish him off. I kind of like the sound of that. Yeah, that's exactly how that worked. Okay. 17, a 20 second, 25 second cooldown on Tremor. Okay. That's long, but that that's not a bad combo. Final threat, Kim. Don't be a child. Why are there? The inquest will not tolerate the mockery of inferior intellects. Uh, looks like we're getting an event. Yeah. Event. Trying to find ways to synergize skill. Most players just hit buttons. I try not to just hit buttons. I mean, most of the time I'll end up just hitting buttons, but I try not to. You killed a friend! I got you. Not just any buttons. <laughs> the one button specifically. Yeah. Hmm. Guys. Ooh. I like this combo. This combo is working for me. Oh, I hit that late. Res you. Ah, excuse me. In the middle of something. I like that it saves the res progress. That's cool. Makes it more more important to continue uh, to just like try to res somebody then you get a little bit of res on them and you can slowly build it up it's cool okay completed that what is that intercept the saboteurs oh how far away are they they are a ways away oh and that's the power station is a ways away let's go do it 
And then we'll come back. Ow! Hey, there's fall damage. Tailspin. Is there another ability called DuckTales? A... There's a mobile tank? Wait, what? That's what I need to kill is a mobile tank? Where did it go? No, 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 no. I don't want to fight you. I'm trying to find something else. Wait. Gold poke, how's it going? Where did it go? Somebody kill it? Oh, somebody must have killed it. All right. Well, fine. I'm going to go get the Vista then. I don't like CC. No. Bad, bad CC. Ooh. Okay. Uh, loot bag, jute scraps. I got. What is this? Get good? What? Lyprella, how's it going? Zelda, you get good. I'm stuck. Excuse me, pardon me. Where's the vista? Oh, there it is. Right by this guy. Activate view. <laughs> Can confirm. Listen. Still really pretty. I don't care what anybody says. Ooh, what's that up there? Uh, it's like a bridge up there. Also, a level 14 Etten. How did that not hit him? That was not a lot of XP. For a fairly challenging enemy. Got him. I'm a trash collector. Uh, I should probably go do this event, huh? Golems recovered. Let me, let me up. Let me up. Yeah. The Asurian flurry. Yeah, the animations on the Asura are fantastic. Honestly. Oh, don't stun me. Who stuns me? Stun that. What you think of that? <clears throat> well, the event's over. I can work on the heart at least. Take out inquest operatives, sabotage their broken golems, and their experience to des destroy lab equipment. Is that the broken golem? What are these green glowy things? Hello. I would like to investigate you. Huzzah! Power level increasing. Love CC when I'm the one applying it. Yes. That's a very... Very distinct difference. Six feet tall. Would you stop throwing grenades at me? Honestly. Destroy a golem arm. Just 
destroy a golem head. <laughs> Nothing like aggressive priest CC to make you just never want to play a game again. <laughs> oh, you're tough. Okay. In that you didn't die immediately. Someone had already started resurrecting you. Hi. Uh... Beep, 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 beep. No, we're going to kill this guy first. Six feet tall. Why? No, you! Attack! Why are there so many grenadiers? Stop. Stop throwing things at me. Just just stop. Stop! It's just mean, man. Six feet tall. Oh, I interrupted it, you dope. Boom! Ooh, level up. And finish the heart. Nice. What? No, 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 no. No. That was mean. Right, I need to get out of here. I don't even remember what I was doing. Anybody remember what I was doing? <laughs> Why was I over here? Uh, ooh, ooh, new pauldrons. Yes. Precision and poison duration. No. Why do I want poison duration? Uh, power, toughness, or precision. Let's go power. I was doing a heart and I completed it. Yeah, I just started doing the heart because I was over here. I got a black lion chest. You need a key to open that, right? A pebble, energy crystal. Put that stuff away. I got my mighty hammer of ice. Nothing. How's it going? Is someone yelling six feet tall over and over? Yes. Uh, when my rage fills up, he says, I feel like I'm six feet tall. Because he's a tiny little fella. He's just a tiny little fella. A tiny little grumpy fella. Eh. He's not, not real happy with how things are going overall. He's a little cranky. Slightly cranky. He's a slightly cranky man. He's fine, though. Uh, okay. So I get plus 10 precision because I have one of those runes, I guess. <clears throat> Can I use the upgrade slot? I don't have anything to upgrade with. Okay. I have seven points. What is this? Signet of Might. Improves power. Attacks are unblockable and you gain might. The Signet of Rage. Hmm. Thought those were pigtails? No. No, 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 no. No, no. Uh, to the limit. Yeah. No, let's keep going with signets. Because I can, I can get uh, a bunch of signets. By that, I mean one more. Signet of Fury. Improves precision. Gain adrenaline and improve precision and ferocity. A hundred of each. Ooh. Alright, so let's do, uh, do, 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 let's swap out Frenzy for Fury, because that passively gives me precision. So we're going to have a bunch of passive signets. Um, I want to go that way. That's right, I wanted to get in here because I wanted to try and get down here. 
because there's a jumping puzzle here that I want to get to. I got to figure out how to get into that area. Caledon Forest. Can I get in there? Is it? Level 80. The sea is sour. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> anyway. Let's go this way. Uh, hi, Mr. Golem. That combo works really well when it's on when it's off cooldown. There's another continent too, in addition to what I was looking at. Oh boy. Oh, this is the portal that goes to Caledon. Okay. Okay. Sin, hi. Happy Monday. I hope you're doing well. Series of arrows that point up into the sky. Oh! Oh. Hi. Okay. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> New event nearby. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you eyeballing me. Get out of here with your poison. Ow, the poison hurts! The poison hurts! The poison really hurts! The poison really hurts! <laughs> okay. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, poison that, you jerk. Oh, right, I wanted to look around in here because there was a thing. Right. I remember. I remember. Hail Cube! Uh... You guys aren't anything special. Hero point. A veteran air elemental. That seems problematic. Uh. Ah, uh, use my my finisher too soon. Whoa! Hi. Thank you. What do we got? Commune. That's why you gotta clear the elemental. Otherwise, it would murder you while you're doing it. Okay. Did that give me enough for something? That gives me three. I need four for the signet of stamina. That's fine. Physical training. I could learn kick. Push your foe back. That might be useful. Eventually. But I want to finish off signets first. This is for... The next couple are probably going to be four as well, so we'll get there. <clears throat> Alright, so then back to trying to find the way to that jumping puzzle. How much longer do I have on my mount? Eight hours. Great. Super duper. It's a super de duper. Merchants. There was nothing down there, right? Now we looked in that cave. Oh, hello. Yoink, yoink, yoink. What's up here? Hello? Hello? There's a, a worker taking a nap in a hammock. <laughs>
Was there a... No, there's no vista or anything, right? Okay. <laughs> it's Labor Day? Please. Please. Excuse to not do your job day is what it is. Uh, let's keep looking around. There's another tunnel here. Is that going to do anything in there? Foe, how's it going? Unrelated. I've logged into my arena net account. Imagine being able to log into your arena net account. Ooh, a tiger's eye pebble. Let's use that. Ooh, I just put it in my bank, so never mind. Uh, rawhide vest. Do I still have my... Yeah, I have my salvage kits. Let's do that. And... That. I Sir. Sir. what you get it's what you get imagine imagine being able to access something you paid for right bizarre absolutely bizarre Ooh, this is promising this is promising it no it's not dang it <laughs> I thought it was going to bring me further up. It did not. Hi. Yes. Hello. Why don't you fall over? And then I'll just kill you. Thanks. Uh. Oi. I'm exploring. Let a man explore, will you? You can log into your account? Oh, everybody can log into their account. Isn't that special? Isn't that nice for you all? Isn't it? You know, <laughs> maybe this afternoon I'll try to log into my account again. Watch it works. They gave up on the old nonsense and it just works. I'll be angry. <laughs> it won't. Okay. Uh, I need to get up there. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Can I get up this? I need, I need to be there. There has to be... Oh, I wonder... Oh, you know what? It's probably that cave. Mounts are disabled in this area. What? Oh, because of the puzzle? I got a slab of red meat. Nice. All right. Thus far, sword main hand, mace off hand is my favorite combo. Uh, Two-handed sword was decent, actually, as well. And the two-handed hammer is actually decent. Mostly because of the animations of the Asura barely being able to handle it and almost falling over every time you strafe. That's mostly why it's good. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can get in here. If we can do something in here, that might give me access to what I need. Hello. Brilliant. This fine adventurer oh. found the key crystal. I need to protect you. Any idea what we'll Great. find inside, boss? Love that. Of course not. I love protection quests. They're the best. Escort quests? Mm-mm. All day, every day. Tell me more about escort quests. All 
Are these micro mites going to do anything? Or are we waiting for very clear and specific enemies to show up? What are you doing? You look at those golemites. Intact after all these years. Go see if you can pry a crystal out. Pry a crystal? What? Huh? No, no, no. You can bigger. Back. Back. To the depths with you. We got yoked. <laughs> okay. Uh. Do you heal? Oh, he's not even healing. Okay, let's go for better, better weapons. We gotta be a little more aggressive here. Read the notes. Discredit Zin. I sense something more to these golems than is at first obvious. Something dark. Oh boy! Oh boy! Kill him! Kill him! This is a little, uh, a little risky with one person, huh? Okay. Ozzy, how's it going? Good to see you. Uh, Lieutenant Dan, what's going on? Have I tried Axe in either hand? I have. Uh, Axe is up there. Wait, where is he? Why are you taking- oh, man. Uh, Axe in the offhand is, is my second favorite. At the moment. Uh, axe in main hand is also good. <laughs> I only have a garbage axe at the moment. So it does it's not doing much damage. But axe in offhand, the four is real good. Watch out. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Yeah, spin to win. Yeah, hundred percent. Getting uh, getting iframes with the spin is also real strong. I love being able to use uh, CC and the combo of tremor, uh, then crushing blow and final thrust has been real good. Okay, chicken. Thank you. Trouble inbound. Oh! Okay, a bunch of them are below. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I shouldn't have been over there. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> I thought I had to kill all those. <laughs> Turns out, no. A hollow projector. Log number five four one five dash I can't believe it. I can't have much time. It's really this will you. probably be my last log entry. Uh oh. Did you think that would end my research? So it only revealed magic secrets most, but I fear I may have dabbled too deep. Oh, we try to steal. Oh. It's not like that. Someone can swear my final mistake. I love this. <laughs> just the holograms just talking in the background still. <laughs> Oh, and the knockdown. Knock down. How about you knock down? How did you heal? Finisher, finisher. Yes. Dialogueception, right? Please, we don't want to fight. Winning. Oh, it won't be much of a fight. Did you think that was my last line of defense? Yes. 
I did, actually. We need automated defenses. You will not abscond with my inventions. Quick, no, that's fine. No, it's good. We're good. We're not trying to abscond with anything. No absconding. Okay, we might be absconding. We might... There might be a small amount of absconding. <laughs> small. A skosh. Excuse me, ghost. Yes! This leads where I thought it did. No! Outstanding work, everyone. No! Celebrations over. Let's start cataloging. Can I go back? Can I go back there? Excelsior. A five vitality uh, crystal. Ew. How much is that? One twenty-six. Sure. Um. Oh, can I get back in there now? Is that just like open? A gate piece. Where? Wait. Where am I? Oh man, I'm way down here. What is a gate piece? I'm so confused. Why did he teleport me away? I didn't even get a chance to open the chest. Why is there a rabbit just like? Uh, uh, oh, I'm so irritated. I need to get back in there. No, out. Please, no. Do I have to run that quest again to get back there? Kind of looks like it. Kind of looks like I might have to. Six feet tall. And it's gone. Oh, there he is. He went invisible, so he could bleed out. Poor Jaguar. Poor, poor Jaguar. Okay, let's run back. Back, 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 back. Why can't I go? Can't get back in there? Is there no way to repeat that quest? I should have just run and opened the chest. I didn't. I was waiting to see if there was like an ending dialogue, not <laughs> to have him teleport me away. You need a key? Find a data crystal again. Okay. There's gate pieces. Oh, recover gate pieces. There's a heart around here somewhere. Wheel. Cull hostile wildlife. Ooh, poison bad. Stop poisoning me. Six feet tall. Poison bad. More gate pieces over there. That was the wrong button. Gaining it's fine. Adrenaline. It's fine. <clears throat> Wiki's the best place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can get in there again, I can just fail the quest the second time, right? Because I just need to get in there to get through and get the chest. 
And then hopefully, maybe, it allows me to run through the jumping puzzle. Possible eye. A juvenile rock gazelle. Oh, you belong to you. Okay. All right, we got the waypoint. There's script guys over there. Uh, but I'll tell you what, <clears throat> looking at the time, I got to wrap up. Uh, I have some stuff to do. My kids start school tomorrow, so there's no uh, no stream tomorrow. It's my kids' first day in school, so I want to get them squared away, make sure they have a good day and everything. So. Uh, there'll be no stream tomorrow. I'll be back on Wednesday. We're definitely going to consider continue with some Guild Wars 2 on uh, on Wednesday. So uh, if you like what you've seen so far, come on back on Wednesday and uh, we'll do some more Guild Wars 2. We'll probably keep going for a little bit with it. Uh, like I said, towards the end of the month, a lot of great stuff is coming out, like Slime Rancher 2, Grounded hits full release. There's a lot of great games coming out this fall, so uh, we'll jump into those a little bit as they come by. But uh, for now, I think we're just going to mess around in Guild Wars 2 for a bit. So uh, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for all the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the bits and all the love. And thank you again, Zelda, for the raid. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you hang out. We're going to raid somebody and uh, spread that tug love. We're going to go see, uh, we haven't gone to see Maria in a while. Maria is absolutely fantastic if you haven't seen her before. She is an absolute joy. So we're going to go say hi to Maria. I would really appreciate it if you came along and spammed some emotes and showed some love. But other than that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Monday. I hope you have an even better Tuesday. I'll see you bright and early around 9 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesday for more Guild Wars 2. So uh, until then, as always, as ever, remember. Be good to each other. Bye, everybody.